All right, let's do this. Yo, let's take this podcast episode 238. George Greg back in the building. Yes, sir. It's not a special guest anymore. It's Blanc here. <laughs> Blanc, we're here what, how many times? Three times? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Creator of his yeah. own show. Show creator. That's Blanc. Real. Show runner. <laughs> That's real. So, Mike, so Blanc knows better. He's a, a professional podcaster now. <laughs> Respectfully unapologetic. Uh, I love it, too. It's a good podcast. Oh, hold on. Before you start, somebody had told me to watch that Your Honor. I don't remember which listener it was. Apologies. Oh. Your Honor, that show's fire. Oh, I haven't yeah, started no, it yet. Facts, yeah. I finished I'm not going to say what happened, but that show is fire. It is, though. Okay. See, people always talk about it, and I'll be like, eh, I'll get it's to It's like it. stuff in the show that you wouldn't expect. HBO? And like, dude. by the... By the by wait, the, you're I think on it's on Showtime. Yeah, yeah Showtime. No, is it Showtime? Yeah, I think yeah, it's on Showtime, yeah. Uh, wait, wait. Is it on no difference. No, it's on Showtime. It's on Showtime. It's on Showtime, but okay. I mean, they both make the equal type, quality yeah. shows. You know, what some I mean? some stuff I see on HBO Max are on like Cinemax and stuff, mm-hmm. and I was like, why is this on they HBO own Max? HBO. Oh, they do. Cinemax. Oh, yeah. Oh, that was by HBO Max. Oh, I don't think so, but I mean, maybe that's. <laughs> Listen, maybe that's the, the, the reason why they came up with the name, but HBO owns Cinemax. I know that much. Mm, well, yeah, you could be right. Blanc, Blanc is now a professional podcaster. Everybody knows Blanc, you know, <laughs> from IG. You know, Blanc has now become a a, a fashion uh, go to uh, now hat icon. Come on, man. Come on, man. Fashion <laughs> go to now. You know uh, what's funny? Hat is icon. I always tell cats. I always be like, I'm like, you know what? As we get older, because. There was a point that was us. We was younger, the fashion cats. <laughs> and then, like, when you get older, you get away from it. So, like, I got no problem admitting that. I look at some of the cats on IG, like, okay, I see you freaked the little jacket, you know, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Then, I, then I could freak it, too. I don't got a problem admitting that. A lot of cats, boy, they have a hard time admitting that stuff. Like, yeah, oh, true. shoot, he got that on now? But y'all start the uh, podcast? Yeah, yeah. You like um, doing it? It's cool, you, you know what I mean. Like it was like it, it started just like a group chat, you, you know. What yeah, I mean? yeah. Just talking, we was like, let's just do a podcast, you know what I mean. So we started, so we started up, put it out. It was like spirit of the moment almost too. Like thought about it one day, did it like three, four days after. That's how I got to do it, yeah. y'all. Uh, everybody, they don't live. None of them live nah, out here. They all live back home. Oh, so they all live in Virginia? Yeah, they all live back home. Dang. They so if they home. wanted to, they could do one in person. They could. Oh, they could. Okay. Yeah, but it was your yeah, idea, yeah. though. Definitely. Oh. No, 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 no. It was collective. Okay. I mean, that's how it all yeah. I mean, you know, yeah, you guys yeah, always yeah. talking. Y'all super funny. I like it. But I, I will tell you, though, know, y'all got to do episode every week, man. It got to be weekly. Is it weekly? It is weekly, yeah. No, nah, that was a, bl- was like a week or two nah, where it nah, missed nah, one. Nah, nah. I feel it like weekly. it jumped from like January 9th <laughs> nah. to like February 12th or something. I'm like, yo, what? <laughs> nah, nah, nah. It's, it's weekly. It's is weekly. it? It's weekly. <laughs> okay, because I, I know I didn't miss yeah. episode three. I listened to one, two. I listened to four today. I ain't right. listened to three. So, yeah. But uh, okay. And I'm like weekly. done with four. I think I think I got through most of it today. I, yeah. can't, I had to stop for a bunch of meetings today. But that joint is good, That's man. That joint is funny. It don't sound like y'all... There's one voice, so I don't know who it is. He sound like he might be <laughs> somewhere different, but everybody else sound like yeah. y'all in the same room. Oh, that sound real? good. Yeah. That sound good to me. That's what's up. The yeah. illusion. Y'all not going to do video? <laughs> the illusion. The illusion. Yeah. Y'all not doing video at all? No, nah, we are going to do a video soon. Um, oh, okay. We're going to do something probably here in like the next month. Oh, okay. uh, we're going to do like a video type uh, joint. Get that out there. You know what I mean? That's what people want. Yeah. Uh, everybody, like I said, like, subscribe, like, subscribe. What's the podcast called? Oh. Respectfully, unapologetic. Um, we on Instagram, Twitter, Spotify. It's all in the bio. I think I saw that come up on IG. I didn't even know that was your show. Yeah, yeah, it's the algorithms. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's probably because we follow each oh, other. Okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man, just um. Like, subscribe, follow, <laughs> do all that, man. Why is it all on uh, Spotify only? Because, like, we add, like, the music in there, and then it's, it's Spotify music. So, we oh, can't distribute okay. it over to, like, the Apple and all of that. Yeah, but y'all but wait, just... do you talk about music? Yeah. Is, okay, so that's yeah. part of the point of the thing. All right. Yeah, but y'all don't play music during yeah so like when it, it it like the intro yeah the intro music yeah it'll, yeah. it'll be like the music and i i guess that's where they you know oh, yeah. so that's well, what wait, so if you upload it on apple you can put you can put apple like no. licensed songs on there well without I, permission i oh oh no. wait mm, i feel like i've put no i've done instrumentals of stuff before of like other of like actual rap song, like I did like a location. Damn, people put stuff in their YouTube videos all the time. I don't understand See, the difference. Is it only if someone yeah. complains? I, 
You know what I it don't is? Know. Like people with a lot of followers too. Like, see what happens is, is that, that like. I know they're not paying paying for those just those little loops. I'll tell you this: like I used to, before we started doing the YouTube video, in order to put music in it, I would have to find like some obscure YouTube person mm-hmm. to rip it because like ones that are like pretty not common, but they get the copyright stuff. And like if you go on YouTube and click it, it'll have the copyright, you know, owned by Sony, Sony, all that stuff right there. Oh, you just have to put that in there? No, no, no. They. I don't know how it gets it. I don't know what it is. Yeah. But like if I rip that that music, that song, and I put it on ours, I get a notification thing like, oh, just to let you know, Sony will be taking the monetization <laughs> of your video. They're not going to report you because like they can do two, two options. Make you take the music out or make you take your video <laughs> well, down. We have no ads on our shit anyway. Yeah, so or they matter. monetize. Well, yeah, but like they will add ads because there's times where like, old videos i'm like yo what ads doing in these i ain't never put oh. no ads in this uh-huh. and that's and that's what it is they'll go ahead and turn monetization on with it because i remember when um i don't know what it was but like i looked and there was all these trump ads i was like yo 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 yo, yo i ain't <laughs> trump ads in there. Yo, what's this but when i did the uh sneaker awards and i took that like that music i had for the intro that was like uh-huh, uh-huh, like award music some symphony was like uh-uh and they monetized oh. off of it but I was like, I ain't tripping. I was like, they could take that eleven dollars, like whatever, whatever. Yeah, it's probably not even that. It's not even that. Yeah. Whatever, like a few thousand views is. But uh, eleven you know. cents. Shout out to your podcast, man. I'm glad you started one. But yeah, if man. they monetize on like fifty different videos, then it might yeah, add up. Man, it's a problem. That's why, I like, I just with respect to the OG intro music. That's it. Uh, but like I said, man, I'm glad you started a podcast. I tell everybody, man, start some. Andy yeah. plan on starting a video thing. Rico be on stuff like a hey, week now. I'm like, Rico, think he tight now. Got it. It's like Rico in half, huh? He tight. Uh, but everybody, listen to suggestions as well. Rico's an actor. He's com. the one who should have something. Facts! Yeah. I mean, this should be like a video series. He should do like skits, dude. <laughs> <laughs> he should do something. But if he, has it, but if he, but if he does it that, is. he needs like help, though. You need like production help and stuff like that. To yeah, but you don't have like, to start it. Yeah. Like there's cats I follow who do some pretty funny skits and they post them on IG. And their IG following is nothing. Another mm-hmm. TikTok following, I don't know if it's high either, but yeah, that's another thing I don't understand. I, like yeah. you could have find somebody with a million TikTok, and you go to their Instagram, and it's like four thousand. Yeah. <laughs> like yeah. how you got a million on here and like four thousand on the other one? See, I feel like you on TikTok. Mm-mm. Oh, okay. See, I feel I'm like a lot of people when they go to TikTok. They abandon everything else. Like I feel like it's a cycle because yeah, maybe I'm never on Facebook. Like once I created IG and got more involved in Twitter, Facebook just seems ridiculous now to me. Like <laughs> I, I only go to wild. Facebook just to read stuff. I don't post yeah. nothing on there. See, I go on Facebook in like the however the algorithm set up. I be seeing cast stuff from like six days ago. I'm like happy yeah. anniversary. I'm like, <laughs> I be like yo, happy anniversary. Be like a week old. I'm like oh, huh? You gotta change the setting to most recent. <laughs> and I be getting all these notifications from people that put me in sneaker groups. It be like oh, yeah. dead stock LA. I'm like, what the heck is this? I be like, yo, selling a DB9. I'm like, all right. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, you know what I'm gonna do too? What happened? Oh, oh yeah, we're gonna do that. that? Yeah, we're gonna do it a little oh, bit, but I wanted right. to ask Blonde. One thing that like before we did Every time we ever had someone on a podcast, mm. and we did this last week. Actually, we did this last week, and I was like, we never, ever asked them how they got into sneakers and stuff. And because I always felt like, ah, that's everybody asked that of me. But now we're, like, so deep into the episodes. I'm like, oh, we can ask it now. And I always want to know that. Like, what got you into sneakers? Um, Basketball, yo. Okay. <laughs> Definitely basketball. Just, like, growing up and then, like, just, like, seeing, like, the Jays and then, like, seeing, like – but, see – it was different for me, you know what I mean, versus probably for y'all because like, right. like y'all was like, you know, first runs, you know what I mean, like. That's a way of saying old. Oh. No, 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 <laughs> no, no, y'all no, had the OGs. No. no, but like, you know, what I'm saying like, like seeing like LeBron like come out of high school, like, like <laughs> yeah. his shoes, like, like the mellows, you know what I'm saying. Then it just came from that, and then like, you know, forces was always big. And so basically, it was just basketball, dude, and then just. Putting it on, putting clothes on with it, you know. See, you know what's funny is, is that and like your podcast, y'all talk about a lot of music and y'all talk about sports and stuff like that. Yeah. I was arguing with somebody because a long episode, a long time ago, I had said that I didn't think sneakers and hip hop ever went together. It never did to me, and uh, so we were arguing back and forth a couple mm-hmm. of days ago, and he was like, "You're you crazy, sneaker and hip hop are one in one," and I was like, "It was sports to me, like." I mean, it's a little bit of both. How? 
how? It's a little bit of both. See, it's a little bit of both. See, you the reason why I said well, that. back then musicians didn't have shoes, but they wore all the athlete shoes. Yeah, but like I never tied. Like I never said like, ooh, this rapper has. You didn't have on. social media. It's different. Yeah, yeah, but like we saw them in like, magazines and stuff. If I said George, think of a, BET, a rapper. MTV, that's it. Right, and they yeah. would wear them on there. We would see them, but I never cared about that. I only cared about their clothes. Oh, because what it was was he brought up the Virgil said streetwear is dead, and I said, you know what, streetwear isn't dead because you can turn anything into streetwear. But I said, you know what happened was when hip hop abandoned the stuff that we considered streetwear. Like remember back in the day, like Sean John, all that stuff. Yeah, yeah. You could see Diddy wearing a Sean John shirt. And be like, I want that Sean John shirt and go to Macy's and cop it for forty five dollars. Right now, I watch a music video. Oh, you talking about like Balenciaga and stuff? Yeah, I can't even afford to watch the video now. <laughs> I'm like, I watch the video and they're talking about Hermes and Balenciaga and yeah. Birkin and all yeah. that, and I'm yeah. like, I can't even afford to watch this. Back, you watch Nas, Jay Z, DMX, Rough Riders. They were wearing Carl Kanai, LRG, Academics, Varsity, mm-hmm. Johnny Blaze, all that stuff. We could be like, ooh, let's go to the demo. Let's go to the hip-hop shop, Mr. Rags, and go cop it. I watched uh, uh, Quavo and somebody fe- somebody featuring Quavo, and that video looked like th- the just their, <laughs> their stuff they had, like about $18 million. I was yeah. like, man, what's up with these purses? And the little kid had a purse and with JaVinci sweatsuit, and I was like, okay. Yeah, and, I, and, I, and, and that's what I told somebody. <laughs> it is. I, no, like, that's really what it is, though. And I told somebody, and I said, that's why streetwear <laughs> isn't what it is. Mm-hmm. Like, I, you see Nas wearing a Willie Esco jersey in the Uchi Wally video. I went to demo and copped the same one. I was like, well, I had to have this. It was like, yeah. and it was like $99 back then, you know. But anyways, though. But no, I never equated sneakers to that. And I told him, I said, if I ask, I said, I said, when I get to the podcast, I'm going to ask George. And I said, if I ask George, what picture, just a picture of a rapper wearing sneakers, What's, I said, I know what George is going to say. The very first thing that comes to mind, because I would say the same thing. What's the very first picture you think of? A picture of a rapper wearing sneakers. The only one I can think of off the top of my head is Tupac. Tupac and Gray Hills. Yeah. That's the only one. And he was like, nah, fam, nah. And I said, you got a picture of Jay-Z wearing Concords? I ain't got one. I mean, Jay-Z's got a lot of courtside pictures or whatever wearing stuff, but that started like once social media started. Yeah. Right. Like, I mean, I can't think I of mean, DMX. Got, like, I ain't got no DMX wearing no J's. I got DMX got, wearing like, Tim's, Air Force Ones. Rockefeller Air Force Ones, though. Yeah, but see, Air Force Ones was regional. Like, Timberlands, okay. Air Force Ones was, what, uh, Wu-Tang? Well, so it depends what era you're talking about. Like, obviously, Jay-Z had Sean Carter's. Um, yeah. 50 had G-Unit. Stuff, so right? I mean, but I mean, like, I we were talking about Jordans and mm, you know, yeah, whatever else. We were talking about that, and I said I couldn't. I, can't I think the it. only, honestly, the only time is NBA All Star Weekend. NBA All Star Weekend, you watching, <laughs> oh, and that's okay. when that everyone is wearing like Griffies, yeah. Jordans, whatever, because right. they're playing the celebrity game or Rock and Jock. But again, that's MTV. Ooh, that's right too. So like Rock and Jock, Rock and Jock you there was no Rock social is? media, man. Vaguely, it's completely different. You're talking about, they yeah. so young. See, Vaguely. look, that was even before we could record or we were watching. Like you could put a tape in a VCR, but how good was the quality? So like, how many people was recording like an All Star game and rewatching it back? Now you just hit the button on the thing and you can watch it as many times as you want. Like and, you missed a shoe. Rewind it. You see it again? Rewind it. See it again? So it's different. I mean, we used to watch the, like when we used to watch finals games and we would see what they were wearing. That was the way we found out what they were wearing. And like you said, we was watching it live and like everybody would go back to school and be like, yo, what was, did you see John wearing the black and red 11s? Like that's when he was with playoff 11s. We was lost our minds <laughs> during that 96 series. Bam, the videos that we used to record on VCR and rewatch was like anytime there was like a crossover and the person fell or they were like stuck in the mud. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. That's all we used to watch and dunk videos. But we didn't go back and watch like, yo, what kind of sneakers he got on or the clothes or whatever. Fam, we used to laugh all night long at those like shake videos where someone would like stumble <laughs> Or like you go around him and a defender is so slow to move it looks like he's slow motion like, <laughs> and the man's already dunking. We used to watch those and laugh incessantly. Yeah. Man, we used to like yeah back then you would have to like if you recorded Martin and stuff you would have mm-hmm. to keep the tape like it was like your Martin yeah, yeah, tape. Or you record over somebody it. recorded over. I remember yeah. like my dad if we well he never went to church with us but like when my mom would make him go to church with us and it's when NBA was on NBC he'd be like a triple header and it'd be like the first game the, <laughs> yeah, man, it starts at nine a.m. No, First game would be like Miami and Knicks, and the second would be like Hornets and Pacers, and the third would be like be Suns, bull. Spurs, oh, like yeah, Bull, bulls, yeah, yeah, Bull, yeah, something Jordan like. And my dad used to have a tape, and like I remember, like if if anybody was at the house, 
you'd have to take the tape out because if the games went, the tape would only be like, <laughs> so it would be like, you'd have to make sure you see the VCR stop, hear it stop, and the tape would zzz, come out, get a new blank tape quick, and put another one in and record it again. <laughs> Hell no, no, stuff about that. Young, <laughs> boy, young <laughs> that sounds like a lot. That sounds like a lot. It was a lot yes, back then. Like it was hard. It was hard. Fam, I was telling my, uh, I was telling my sister in law. I said, I remember we were the first house in the neighborhood to get the internet. And I said, man, we got the internet, and all the homies came over, and we sat in front of the computer, like, hey, what do we type? And the first thing we typed was Playboy.com. That was the oh only god. thing we could think of. Oh my god! <laughs> and we was like, oh shoot, close it out of there quick. <laughs> and we didn't know nothing about internet history, nothing. Yeah, so yeah. then my mom got on the computer, she saw it. <laughs> oh, the good old days, oh. the good old days. Oh, uh, most gonna have uh, pickups. <clears throat> Anybody got anything recently? Blanc, um, you got anything recently? I picked up, um, picked up Kif Air Force ones not too long ago. Um, Which ones is that? Them like super nice ones with the little swoosh in the front? Not nah, um, like the Nick joints. Like oh, yeah, okay, yeah. okay, okay. Enjoy this fire. Picked up those. Picked up Kif Pippins. The, is that one right there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dang, look at them. I'm enjoying this fire. Pick See, only up. cats like you can still rock basketball sneakers like that. <laughs> I'd be not so any, uncomfortable. <clears throat> nah, you still can, dude. I, I, I promise you. Was they a grip? Nah. I got these for a steal. Oh. Super steal. Off of, what you buy, my of? eBay. Oh, really? Yeah. Dang, them joints is fire, huh? Super steal. Oh, got that, that eBay. <laughs> <laughs> what else you buy? Anything um, else? I'm trying to think. That's, that's about it. That's about it that's recently. About it. That's about it. George, you cop anything? Sell anything? I bought a bunch of stuff, but it's all sold. I bought the, <laughs> the University Jordan 1s are fired, by the way, but there I sold them before I even got them. So I had no chance to even look you at didn't the keep them. I couldn't even. Man, um, all my money is in sports cars. I'm not joking when I'm saying, <laughs> like, uh, I'm slaying stuff to. Because I, I got, I sent my order to PSA. So until that comes back. And I find out, well, okay, so let me take the story back one day. So yesterday I had opened some new stuff that I just got, and I pulled a card that might be like a $2,000 card. So that'll change some stuff. That'll help me, like, pay for some stuff I already bought. If I, But I have other change stuff life. already. At, all right. <laughs> <laughs> but I have stuff already on the way to PSA that, I mean, the, it was like 10 cards. The box potentially could be worth like 10000 So hopefully I get good grades yeah. on what comes back. But – um. For now, where I'm just like selling raw cards or whatever, like flipping sneakers is helping me buy like a box of cards or whatever. And mm. then I sell that and just keep reinvesting. You know what I mean? I will say those university like ones. Fire. So did you send that? You sent that picture today, yeah. right? Oh, okay. And that was the GS size? <clears throat> that was the men's, but the GS, like, I don't know. Somebody on the the on our YouTube page was arguing with me about like the leather on the white Jordan that I don't like the stiff leather paws is supposed to be oh, really 85s. good. Yeah, it's supposed mm. to be good leather even though it's stiff. You so y'all don't like that leather that like be on those? Nah, I, I don't. That's I, the stuff that uh-huh. feels like plastic to me is like because I remember going to Wilson Leather Experts and you look for calfskin. Like you know, right. I'm not looking for like that. Like see, I don't raw high like, <laughs> leather, no, that, that, like leather that will stop a bullet. Like I don't <laughs> want that. Yeah, but see, you know what? I started uh-huh. to wonder was like I think it's um. It might be good leather, like you're supposed to wear it. Like, and maybe. it turns into good leather. I think uh, that. I don't know, maybe. Because I feel like. I feel like this. That after you had said that about foot. those 85s, I felt like we're the only two people on earth who feels that way about them. I mean, every uh, single person was like, fam. I y'all think some people agree with us. I mean, I didn't look at IG, but on YouTube, on uh, it is a on hard leather, YouTube. Though. It was only two. Yeah, it's terrible. It's, to me, it's terrible. Yeah. Now, I don't know any. I'll be the first to admit, I know nothing about like leather itself. I just equate. Like, you go to shop for a leather jacket, you want, like, calfskin soft leather. You know what I mean? So, I'm thinking, like, you put that on a shoe. That's yeah, because, better like, to me. But, see, that's why, like, one Suede thing, too. Suede is soft. That's one thing, too, with Nike because I've always said I wanted to talk to somebody from Nike or a designer or somebody because it's, like, everyone always talks about shattered backboard leather. Yeah. Like, why is this leather different than this leather? Like, why? Like, you Tumbled can. is always softer, though. You know that. Like, it's more, like, pliable or whatever. Like, the, it moves easier. Yeah, but, like. like I pushed the toe box down on the GS. Bam. That joint went, like, squishy. Like, that's I assume, perfect I assume the 85 leather is like back to the OG leather. Yeah. I assume that's um, the point. But I'm still like when I held the AG the OG the 85 black red one that came out well, last All-Star, whatever it was, the, mm-hmm. the pack. I was like this is 
awful. I, I couldn't even believe how bad That's it was. The white and red. Oh, the right? red. And, you're talking about I had the black and red. The red and black. Red and black. Okay, whatever. Okay, Reverse. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. So going from Chicago, and it was like year. number like eighty four, like yeah, 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 four hundred yeah. pairs or something like that. Whatever it was, but I couldn't believe how bad that was. And I, I haven't had an eighty five. Uh, white same, it's gotta be the same it's gotta be yeah, the same be thing the same. Mm -hmm. but, but those I saw I never liked them I never understood why anybody liked those and then all the pictures in hand I was like oh. yeah th those are I mean uh, I think I kind of grew out of like Carolina blue like when Vince Carter's era left North Carolina like I mean, they've had obviously plenty of good players since then but like that was the era for me of North Carolina basketball was like when Vince left so like Carolina blue anymore to me is like, I'm just kind of like, eh. Like the one that's coming out that looks like turbos, that's different because it looks like it looks a little like worn yeah, or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that to me looks better. And obviously, like we love the cost and low Carolina blue or oh, yeah, what yeah, Columbia, yeah. whatever you want to call it. Even the high though, though the high. Yeah, 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 yeah. That one's fire too. I think that way the shoe is color blocked helps me kind of like, oh yeah, that's dope. I've but never... this shoe, when I pulled it out the box, I, you can see. I'm telling you about the women's green and white one that I got. And the only oh, yeah, thing yeah. I don't like you is the black one. patent yeah, swoosh. Yeah. Same thing. It's like the same materials. Those joints, like you can see yourself putting it on and the shoe not being uncomfortable because the leather moves as your foot moves. As opposed to like the white one, I'm like, you just putting your foot into plastic. Now, again, I know no, I'm not a leather expert. I have no idea. <laughs> But it feels like if you're saying it's something where you got to wear it in, fam, you have to wear that shoe. You have to do the Warren Lotus walk to wear that shoe. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. I watched that man walking through that woods. Is he all right? Like, I think did, he made it. He, really? I think so. For $5,000 in free Warren Lotus. 5000 ain't enough because I saw that man going through it. Yo, did you see him with the mustard? <laughs> yeah. He said, like, this is a a, a runner's trick. Like, when you yeah. cramp up, he was just squeezing mustard in his mouth. Oh, salt. Yeah, I mean, because uh, salt absorbs water. Well, yeah, yeah. Salt, I've seen, but I never. Why? Well, no. I mean, mustard has a lot of salt in it, but oh. you could have used something. I like mustard, but I don't want to drink <laughs> yeah, it. Like, like, you could have used something that tastes like better it. than mustard. He was, uh, I think I told you this already. Yeah, it's just like carbohydrate <laughs> and salt. So he was walking through like the woods. He was like, "This ain't on the map." And it was like, it was like, I was like, "Nah, I wouldn't even go because I would." Either. There's no way because there was no path. It was nothing. It was just he was. I did that one time in Arizona, like northern Arizona. I went off the path on accident, and I was like, "You know what? I better go back." I, <laughs> I didn't go very far. I did that that one time. I told you when I got lost in the, in the forest in Oregon, and that's why that's my oh, worst yeah. fear because. In Oregon, know. you might be okay because, like, maybe you run in like a bear or something. But like, you in Arizona, fam, you can run into anything: mountain lion, cougar, snake. Yeah, see, like, Arizona one here. is a little different. See, the Oregon one was like we weren't paying attention, and we like just the group left. But like, we could hear cars, so we were just like just run towards the street. So we were just <laughs> running as fast as we could. But we didn't realize. They didn't leave us. We ended up, we kept walking when they stopped. <laughs> so no one noticed it. And so like, we were so scared. We were running. We stepped on a beehive and everybody behind us got torn <laughs> by bees. So we got, we got back to the camp. Everybody was like, yo, all busted up. We was like, dang. Got to okay. in water. Man, what, remember mm. we stepped on What else you got? <laughs> uh, so those, univer University Blue, I guess. Is that what yeah. it's called? University Blue 1, whatever that Yeezy 350 that came out. I don't know what color it is. The one oh, I just that one was fire. It's better than I expected. The one, I don't know what the, one the just names are so crazy. I can't even tell you what it is. It's a three fifty. Yeah, I got it like uh, what's today? Tuesday. Yeah, so, right. so I think I got it on like Saturday. Over. No, I know. Uh -huh. I either got it on Saturday or yesterday. So it would have come out like after our show last week. I don't know what it's called, but that joint is fire. What color is it? It's like a I think I deleted the picture. Blackish. It's probably in the thread. You see it's, it in the but thread. see, it's another one of those shoes where you see the pictures and you don't even think anything about it. And then you get it in hand and you like, yo. See, that's the problem with all the Yeezys is that like. This looks way better. The pictures you see them, they don't do nothing for you anymore because like mm -hmm. you feel like you've seen so many and then so many similar. Mm -hmm. But that one, he sent it in the thread. And I was like, that joint looks crazy. It's when I pulled it out of the box, I was like, man, this is going to make me want to keep it now. It was a 12? Nah, can't do it. A 12 and a half, even uh, better. Dang, don't even need to take the insole out. Nah, but I, I mean, I got a 12 and a half on purpose just because I know 12 doesn't really sell in that. 
Like I said, fam, I'm trying to make some ends meet so I can get these cards <laughs> off. Okay. Ends meet. Once I get the order back from it. PSA, look, <laughs> it won't matter no more. But until then, they, they told me like six weeks is when it'll be back. So I bet you're on the edge of your seat. <laughs> I'm interested to see what I'm going to get. But yes. See, I can't send stuff that valuable in the mail because I got to check tracking. Oh, yeah. They Those look are... way better in person than like any of the online pictures. Them joints Those are, are fire. And I couldn't tell the listeners. I don't know what it is. So I might find yeah. a picture. Israelis, <laughs> Zachary Rallies, Mecca Kikatis. Like everything is called weird. <laughs> I don't know, like, know if that's focusing. But... Yeah, it's, it's in there. But yeah, I put the, the outsole, whatever that color is right there. I'm sure they've used it on other ones. But the color of the like out, midsole outsole is super nice. And then the knit, too. The knit, I was like. It's like, me- it was like mesmerizing. Now. I mean, I, I didn't keep them. I sold them, but I mean, oh, I was he never stopped. I haven't bought one, even though I said like, oh, I'm, I'll, I'll buy one if I want it. I tried for the yellow. What are those? Yeah, 350s? we would have kept those. Seven hundred. Seven hundred. V three. I think. Yeah, yeah. I tried for V2? those. Yeah, I tried for that. Um, yeah, but the Wave Runner with the yellow. Any other ones I oh, haven't tried for. Yeah, I enough. really thought about buying the Quantum Basketball because they were just sitting, and mm-hmm. I was like, man, maybe I should just too buy much. It. What is it, 250? Yeah. That's too much. <laughs> That's too much? That's too much? Well, I mean, it's like 271 after tax. So 270 for a fam, you was scoffing at simple for like 300 for them black and white. No, because a dunk is I worth understand that, much. that, but you would wear it more than you wearing that. For the I'd same for more $30 more. more. But at least I could hoop in it if I wanted to. Fam. And it has no boots. You're in there. I'm not, but my issue is, is that like it's a second a secondary thing I could do with it. Yeah. But now y'all talking about going to the park and hooping, I'm about to pull something out. <laughs> oh yeah, to, you uh, gotta tell that next story. Time later we go too. to the, we go hooping. Oh yeah. We go to the gym hoop. I'm undesing some Jason Kidd 95. <laughs> I got about three flight 95. That's the only sneaker I hoop in. Yeah, I'm undes undes on a pair for certain. I gotta get back. <laughs> when I saw the video of Blunk them hooping, and I was in the yeah. house like, ooh, I was like, ooh, I'm gonna get back in there. <laughs> yeah. I was pausing the video on IG story, I was holding the you know how you hold it to yeah. the freeze? I'll look at the competition and I'm like, ah, yeah, he probably got like three kids too. <laughs> he, probably, he probably got two. I can't be having no young bucks in no. there. No, um, yeah, I got to get back in shape. You look worn out. I but you hoop though. Yeah. That was my first time hooping in a long uh, time. Yeah. I think it was Andy's too because Andy's in the league. Yeah. And uh, long time. Rico, I panned the camera. I was like, damn, Rico. I mean, uh, I was like, damn, Blanc got a hairy face, hairy head. <laughs> I was like, he worn out. Uh, Ricardo was playing too, or he just was in there to hang out? We had played 21 before. So we were playing 21. Rico was playing, me, Andy, and it was Andy's boy. Um, yeah, so we was doing that. I was done after that, but then, like, <laughs> I was finished after that. But then everybody came in, and I'm like, oh, man. So as I'm sitting over there, this dude was like, man, come on, man, let's go play. You know what I'm saying? Like, we need, like, three more. <sighs> you, you know how that go. I'm like, all right. So we go out there. We play one game. That was it. Well, I'm not surprised that parks are, like, more, more cracking because the LA Fitness, they don't, the gym doesn't exist. They put, like, um, bikes in the gym. You oh, can't play really? basketball. Oh, yeah. Oh, see, at uh, Lifetime, they, you can open there. Like, oh, it's yeah. Fully LA open. Fitness, mm. no. Uh, and I mean, it's still a gym. The hoops are still up. I'm assuming it's Corona, but they just put like bikes, you know, them uh, stationary bikes in there. I'm dying to hoop, but like I'm, I, I had to tell so my because Rocio was like, stuff. "Oh, you would have went there and been cooked." And I was like, "You're right, man." But like, you know what it is? Is when you get to a certain age, like running up and down I the floor hate, twice, you're gonna one hundred percent remember for real life. Rico was Why the best did I do shape this? In there. I'm sorry, who? Yeah, but he been yeah, but he <laughs> been he been oh, he working runs. out lately though. Definitely. He runs too. He could run long distances. Rico out there and like he carries Tony Allen. Couches on Can his he back. Do? Oh, okay. <laughs> Settle that. All right, Tony Allen. Now that's somebody who's in shape. <laughs> Rico out there. Uh Pat Bev. And uh the, Pat Bev too. And the other yeah. one uh who was on the Lakers last year but opted out and then he's he, they either traded him or he signed free agent. Like best defender in the league. Dwight Besides Howard? Pat oh. Beverly. No, oh. guard. Uh, he's been on a million different teams. Uh, he looks like an alien. He looks a little bit like Sam Cassell. Oh shit! I don't know who um, you talk about. Yeah, you, <laughs> you know who I'm talking about, but you just can't think of the name. I can't think of it either. Yeah, I think uh, a defender. I think of Pat Bev. I mean, Pat I know Bev. I don't know how I he think don't he get went, tired. I think he went to Texas. He went to the high, same high school that. Um, oh, the high school you talking about? I've been out to play, not a uh, Ariza, but um, play for the Celtics. He's still kind of young. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he had Marcus Smart. Ch- 
No, yeah, no, no, no. He played on Lakers this year and he opted out. He got like last year on do eyes, but like he got like yeah. He looked like alien. Avery Bradley. Yeah, Avery Bradley. yeah that's who it is yeah. from Seattle. I was trying yeah. to think where he's from. That's right. He's from Seattle. I think so. Oh, I didn't know that. What college he you go played to? Played high school. His last year, high school in Vegas. He went to Texas. I think he's from Seattle. Oh, he went to Texas. Yeah, Texas. Think, yeah he went to Texas. Yeah. Longhorns. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Be yeah, one year. Who played? Uh, PJ Tucker. I don't think so. What year was that? That old. I think Avery Bradley's Avery probably Bradley's only like 27, 28. Wild. Yeah, but he only played one year mm-hmm. of college, though. Because he won that championship with the I bet Celtics, you he's right? like 28 years old. Against the Lakers? Was he on the team? I don't know. I feel like Avery Bradley had been on the Celtics for he quite like some 30, time. 30, 30. Yeah, he got to be in his nah. 30s. Oh, 30. Only a 30 year old would opt out. Yeah, he's from the Corona. Corona. Seattle, same thing. Yeah. If you under 30, they oh, don't care. 30. Only a 30 year old would opt out from Corona. <laughs> <laughs> That's 100% facts. What else you got, George? That's it? Yeezys and those, I think. Um, I'm gonna say I sold something else, but well, George, I will tell you guys. I oh, have. Zion's on that Yeezy restock when Yeezy was sending Adidas was sending oh, like, Z- access oh, to everybody yeah, 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 all day long that day. All I got was Zion's. I got was that one I got. I sent one in the thread. I don't know. Oh, and it was the 700. They got the 700 on the side. Oh yeah, did like you know that? sizes or prices? Because that joint. Some of those go for like four fifty. Oh, no, it's like five. What? Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, certain ones like that lime green one. I feel like the green and the orange. The maybe, only but problem not that is green. if you didn't get it on the first wave. Like when I got the Zion, luckily there was still like a couple of small sizes left. But, but I think I got like a five. But five and a half, six, six and a half, seven. All the like sizes that flip high, those were all gone. Where you got so if you got one? access later in the day, yeah. all the best sizes are gone. Yeah, is that the only one? I think I had that one. Yeah, it was a cream color one. Yeah, I think that was. But those it, yeah. those Dookie sandwiches that say seven hundred on the side, people want those. I don't. I seen those in person, and I didn't oh, realize it was like nylonish. <laughs> like the yeah. nylon was like yeah. kind of collapsed. I don't like that. They suck, but I think it's because the pairs. I think they're limited. Like I think all those runs are. Oh really? Because they didn't. Those didn't go to like boutiques. I don't think. I think it was only Adidas. I didn't even know they dropped. Like, the easy supply. The first one was in Europe. I know that, or in Canada, or something. So that's why, like, people in the U.S. were like, "Oh, what are, you know? What are these?" Did y'all try for four fifties? The ones that came out this week. Oh, I didn't wake up on no. time, uh, and I didn't wake up on time for the Adidas thing or Yeezy. Supply. I woke up on time for it, but I was in bed asleep, so I like turned over, like, "What the?" And I like, got in the line and then fell back asleep. But I, that's literally what happened. I think I figured out how to get through on Yeezy Supply without like bots and stuff, but I still couldn't check out. The yellow ones. I, that's the last time I went on Yeezy Supply. Last time for me too. So basically, not that I'm gonna give. Well, maybe I shouldn't give hints and tricks out, but I'll tell you guys what I did <laughs> <laughs> to, to be able to get through. But hints I got through. Tricks. At so I don't know if you tried on that release or whatever, but those were ultra limited. Like yeah. which ones? The yellow one that we want. Oh, okay. Seven hundred oh, yeah, V two yeah. or whatever or V one whatever. I'm expecting it to restock. Oh yeah, for it sure. should, okay. but sure. they're not gonna do it close to the first time. Obviously, oh. they're gonna let it cook for a little while. But I mean, so. I've been on Yeezy Supply, or we've all been on Adidas before, yeah. where Yeezys take eight hours to sell out, like mm-hmm. all day long. Right. They only let a couple people in through the bypass or whatever. Fam, those sold out in like it was eight minutes. Yeah, it was gone. I've never seen anything like that. When they have the spinning screen, the flash page, it was like eight minutes. How many pairs did you have? I thought, oh shoot, the way the Yeezy's been dropping lately, I'm back in it now. I'm a cop one. I lost on Adidas too on the like. Raffle I thought for certain I was getting on confirmed that. I was like, oh, that's lock. Uh, nothing else? Got a few things. I've actually had an extremely good week of pickups. I, I will see. tell you this, all right? First, I cop Wimbledon's, okay? Airtech Challenge 2s. Now, let me tell you how I got these. So, shout out to the homie Andy in the UK, right? So, he needed me him to do a favor, right? Andy, UK? So, he said... <laughs> <his> last name? <laughs> he said um, he needed to do a favor that, like, you know, something he wanted to get something for his wife... Hopefully she doesn't listen to this with him or nothing, but he was cheaper to send it here. So he sent it here and needed me to send it to there. So I went ahead and did it for him, ordered it for him. He sent me the money, ordered it. Like Singapore or something? No, it was a U.S. store here, but like it was like more money if it went straight there versus to me, to him. I don't know. So was it free (laughs) shipping to you and then he- Yeah, maybe something uh, like that. So then it was like 20 bucks to ship it to him, whatever. So he did that for me, right? And I did that for him, right? And it was like no big deal, like whatever. And you know, oh, let me know if you ever need anything, whatever. Let me tell you something. It's a super homie when like he took the initiative like- he listens to the podcast. No, they're looking for women. I mean, he found it in a store there. So he, they, you know, there's UK yeah. strictly sites yeah. and stuff. Oh, so he was like, "Yo, send some." I was like, 
Guess how much I got Wimbledon's for? <laughs> one sixty five. I mean, I know they only came. They like it was exclusive to the UK. I know they only came out there, so I figured if you were there, pairs would be like around cheaper. But which and now it's a pre owned pair, which don't matter to me. I don't care. Like because mm. I was about to pay five fifty off eBay. I was gonna pay five fifty or five hundred, and sent it to me. I mean, sent me the pictures this morning. Said I got them today. Ooh, the joints is. Beautiful. The one that Rico put on his IG, I, it was it looked better than I remembered. Yeah, it looked good when he opened. Yeah, the he box got him up. too, and I was just like, and, and I man, shout out to him because I'm like, man, the fact that he was like, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and, and try to hook him up. You know, he didn't have to do anything. I was like, oh, you know, hey, if something happens, something happens. But he got those for me, so shout out to him. So them is on the way, hopefully soon, whenever he decides to ship them. Um, and then what else? Oh, found my Los Angeles. Oh, that's what that Cortez's, was. right? Mm. So I had talked about it in the podcast with Laura and Marky, right? And I had said, I'm calling it growing at Marky Mark. And I, <laughs> said, and I had said, I had paid for him from. Who, Marky? What's up? Uh, oh, what did he say they said? Who, Mark? Oh, yeah, who, Marky? <laughs> <laughs> it was funny. He's so quiet. I was like, oh, I guess he was saying that. But who, Mark? <laughs> <laughs> but, um, but I had paid for him and then they canceled my order because they said Nikes, they weren't supposed to sell them. They never came out anywhere. So then Ruby sent me a picture and was like, yo, my friend said he's at Chandler Outlet. So I was like. Oh, yeah. See, Nike be doing that sneaky stuff where like mm. our, normally our outlets don't get stuff like that. It'll be like in Maryland or New Jersey yeah, or something. Yeah, it'll be stuff like that. But stuff that DC got canceled and, that. and then stuff that like it's reselling for like four or five hundred bucks. And then all of a sudden it's at an outlet. So I was like, oh, that's it. Go on. And she said to me at like eight o'clock at night. So it was like too late. It was going by the close. Yeah. Why don't you tell her to grab it? No, because she lives in Houston. Oh, no, her no. friend oh. works there, oh. sent her the thing. She got I her think pair. you talking about that other girl. Isn't that other girl's name who works at Nike named Ruby or Rudy or well, something? Well, Ruby used to work at Nike. I know who you're oh. talking about. But oh, I, I don't know. Didn't wasn't... I thought there was another girl named Ruby who worked at Nike. I thought that's what you're talking about. Uh, no, no. Uh. But she said that, and I went up there, of course, like, gone. So, like, all they had was, like, a nine. I got a side nine for myself, which is, like, pushing it. <laughs> um, and then... But they only had like size six and like a couple sizes left. And I hit up Laura and Mark, see if they want them, but they were too big for her, too small for him. So, wait, this is like the other day? So, Saturday. <laughs> so, when did the release supposedly happen? It never happened. Oh, I know. That thing when you said they canceled. Oh, pff, that was like July last year. Okay. So, this is like eight months this later. This is a long just, time they ago. They just showed up. Yeah. They just showed up out of nowhere. <laughs> so, like, of course, I went on StockX and Gold and eBay just to like see if I could find some pairs. There's not a single pair anywhere like there's none anywhere so i mean if y'all want to go to the channel, Nike channel and get to maybe the resale because they might the one that's like south like by the casino right yeah yeah south way out there yeah yeah you know? because it's i mean the leather on it Pass is phenomenal and it got the blue swoosh because like dodger fans was in there because dodgers are clearly here doing all the yeah. dodger people came there and bought them because i was in there and catch was like you dodger fan i'm like fan, yes you dodger fan too you dodger fan? i'm like we all got on dodgers hats yes and we're all standing there looking at them. <laughs> <laughs> and we just couldn't believe it was only like six, seven, eight, nine. That was it. And I was like, oh, my God. Like, I was just so I got the, I got the last nine. You take the insult out. I'll be fine. Yeah. I hate doing stuff Fam, like it's that. not like a Cortez. Listen, it's not like Cortez. You weren't there for comfort anyways. Take the insult out. Yeah, but out, when I see fine. walk, I got to be comfortable. Uh, all right. Tie your laces tighter. Tie your laces tighter. See walk safely. I don't see walk. <laughs> right. I don't see walk. Uh, shout out to the homie Sneaker Savant. All right. He's a blood anyways. So. Oh, Ooh. Kendrick. Oh, I thought you were talking about me. I'm like, don't do that. Oh, you do got that red. Don't do you that. Um, <laughs> shout out to the homie Sneaker Savant. He has sent us the Kobe cards, right? Um, and you know, it's one of those things where like we Dang, kind of talked Greg about. opening more, co- more cards. I'm about Dang. to break them. out. <laughs> you know, I'm about to break it. You know how many people? You know how many people? <laughs> you know how many? You know how many people was like, Greg, don't do it, dude. The whole strong oh, yeah, yo. The YouTube, the YouTube. And look, let me tell you something. I'm not gonna lie to you. I felt something. I f- I'm not gonna lie to you. I wasn't gonna say that with Johnny and Don here, <laughs> but I felt something. And open. I could tell you about my reaction yesterday. Look, I felt something open in the car. Do you know why? Because uh, a package and not knowing what's in it is way different yeah. than knowing what you cop. Now you get a win on sneakers. Mm-hmm. You like, yes, let's go. Yeah. Yeah. But like opening is something, and the, the possibility ma- it does. The majority of it is a, just a adrenaline. Yeah, push. but see, that's why. And somebody was like, "See, yo." 
I, I'm serious when I talk about addiction. Me and David Blackman got into this but whole see, thing about addiction. No, no, but hold on. But you wouldn't have the same reaction if it was like Pokemon or Yu-Gi-Oh! Because you don't know what I don't is. know what that is. Yeah, that's what like, um, I mean. I don't mess with that. Even if you told me like, even if you told me. Uh, see what dunks you got. Even if you told me like you can hit a thousand dollar card in that box, I watched I watched a video one time. Somebody was opening Pokemon. I was like, "Fam, what is this? This does not this nothing about this is gonna excite me." Right, and and that was the thing too. You open this, yeah. Oh. Open up. So shout out to the sneaker savant. He has his own cards. You could buy them through his website. You could buy them through his IG. The links in the bio. Man, he got odds on. He here. did. He does. He had odds on the Kobe packs. Like in oh, the Kobe pack. Shout that. out to him. I go back and look. But you know, this is one of those things where obviously cards are back in. But like these are more of a collector's thing. If you're into sneakers, you're into dunks like that. So shout out to the sneaker savant. I don't know where I'm showing it. Like <laughs> the, the the card video watchers like to see the odds on the pack before you open it. And the, then uh, he oh, did. Oh, oh, it is odds on here. And then, oh, it is on the back. Yeah. It says receiving a DNA card. Oh, shite. A friends and friends family and card. Family. Oh, shite. Supreme Series. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> um, But everyone. And, but it's, it's a good time to have stuff like this. And it's a collector's item, you know. Look at Blanc. Boy, he can't yeah. open it, boy. Blanc, nervous. <laughs> he got some good ass Yeah, he packaging. got some good packaging. <laughs> I'm trying to be respectful of this. Man, it must be U.S. I'm not, made. I'm not trying to tear it like that. <laughs> hey, I'm about to use my knife. You want this knife? <laughs> Good lord. Here, you want this block? Yeah, let me see that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, That's what that little thing is there to tear it, but I just don't want yeah, to. Yeah, but it. like I don't want to bend the cards. Nah, it might be worth thousands. Like I said, <laughs> I'm about to send these cards to what's it called? PSA? That's the main company, but they got other ones. Look, I'm about to send these to get graded. Huh? Beckett. <laughs> well, I used to love Beckett magazines. Beckett does have a greeting service. Yo, my shack is worth forty five dollars. <laughs> <laughs> I would go to the sneaker. I would go to the car shop. Yo, you want you want to buy this shack? And they'd be like, Nope, no. we ain't got no money. I'm like, I'm God here. dang, <laughs> we ain't got no. They money. would say, Nah, we ain't making enough money right now. Ooh, 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 ooh. oh, this is tight, man. And this is something you just have. You know, you a yeah. collector. This is like when like your Jordans used to come with a card. Okay, man, I got some heat. You know, got I got some. Man, but look at that Tokyo. Look at that Tokyo SB. Don't do that. I got Heineken. Buck. Ooh. Who's I gotta be worse. Who's gonna get the best shoe though? Look That's at this perfect. hologram. Fam, this is the craziest packaging on earth. This is a <laughs> this is a, a this is a very smart idea. This is a defunct sneaker shop, a SB shop. It's called Nam de mm. Gorer. It says see? pointless defunct sneaker store reviews. Only 15 Nam years late. Gorer? I got brown pack high. I got brown pack low. Ooh, I got double. Look at that. I got the high and the low. <laughs> Look at that. Even I'm in this the game. Is not sharp. Well, I got green hemp. The greatest packaging ever. Oh, no. It's Zoom Air Q. Zoom Air URL. Man, I got too many of these Zoom. Ooh, I got George's Grail. What's Look that? at that Reese Forbes venom. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you open, you open. That's your grill now. You open the pack. These are tight. Uh, yeah, these are cool. This is a cool little thing to have. These are cool. This, this thing got re-space on it. Yeah, he does like a sneaker shop in each pack, I guess. Because this one is Nam de Guerre, 640 East Broadway. 640 Broadway. I guess that might be New York, maybe. Monica, huh? I don't yeah, care for the that. owner of this store. What store is that? <laughs> Respace. Oh. <laughs> I had that. Well, one this too. is this is I got the like the first important pro B. Dang, what you uh ooh, look at that alpha numerics. Mm, like the, the first the the set off joint right there, Pro B's. The other one too. This must be friends and family, because I don't remember this one. I don't know what that is either. Yeah. Gray. Oh, didn't it have blue. Gray. Oh, 24 pairs, yep. Friends and family. Oh. Friends and family. This is dope though because it like has a little thing on the back, product code. This is a it's no, a like really good cool, idea. Though, yeah. This is a really cool idea. And look, it's like when you buy a Supreme baseball bat. It's just something to have. It ain't, you know, I don't you know, maybe down the road, maybe it might be worth a lot of money, but it's a cool idea Dang, if you're a sneakerhead. Plums. Like I got my ooh, so got highs or lows. Well, the, oh, that's gonna count. A though. bunch of stuff, that's a that's a, a sixer. <laughs> I'm about to start giving names, but that's a six pack. If you had a single, then it was like that's not a chrome topper uh prism camo that's not, that's not what that is whatever you car cats be talking about them joints yeah, is you better you better relax you about to get in the cars too watch no because you know Why? what's oh so what's funny was somebody was like yo don't get in the cars because you do and i said what is that molders 
I remember the, one, I remember of the first, the one of the first Dunk Low. Oh. But I told somebody, this I is said. Like, this, I think this is from 02. These are I all said, 02. I would legit have to do rehab to stop sneakers if I got in the car. Ooh, that's tight. Because, wait, that's the new one, right? No, nah, this is the. Oh. Supa's made it. It's a Denver Bronco. Not a PE, but you know what I mean? Like, yeah. This is the first like Team Rider series. But I always tell people too, like I've never tried a drug in my single life. We mm. nothing in my life because I knew if I did, I wouldn't be able to stop. <laughs> I have that in me. And I said George has it in him too. That's why he's stuck oh, on cards. Yeah. Because Fam, you think I would be up to like three AM over sneakers? Right. And, but right. no, 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 see. You crazy. Yeah, you would. You used to. Maybe to try to buy something online, but I'm not there like doing work at the table, like well, you used to. We used to back in the day. But see, like. Not like this. But see, with. with the, it's worth it to me. But see. Every time I get that little sale notification or like I open the pack, I'll talk about the, what I opened yesterday. But but see, that's the whole thing why I said like with the addiction thing. Because like I said, somebody was like, well, I don't know why you call it addiction. That's a little serious. And I said, you know why I call it addictions? Because all of my homies, they were into the exact same stuff I was in. Clothes, basketball and stuff. But they never got into sneakers. And I said, it's something triggering in people why certain things stick with them like that. When You know, people that like, you know, I have plenty of homies that used to like smoke weed. But they weren't hooked. Like my other homie, my other homie was like, couldn't live without it. See that you, know, yeah. you know, you know, we'll see this. Oh, he couldn't, you oh, know. Yeah, let me see that box too. He couldn't live without it. You know what I mean? And that's yeah. fine. But like with sneakers. No, that's not fine. Well, you know what I mean. <laughs> but like with sneakers. I can't. I just can't yeah. stop. So I know if I like, if I went to the store, if I went to Target and there was a box of Chrome cards right there for retail, whatever they're called, if I bought it, I'd be in trouble. I'd, I'd have to leave it. I'd have to leave it there. Like I'd, I'd have to, or I'd have to be like, you know, I'm buying this for George and mm -hmm. that's it. Like there's no way, <laughs> there's no way that I could do it. Uh, oh, so just to talk about that point. So I opened those boxes yesterday. And Johnny has a, a, a mega box of just like, Second. you know, retail stuff, new stuff, not nothing that you pay over retail for. He got for me from Walmart or Target the other day. And as soon as I opened that, I was like texting Johnny like, fam, I need to come pick that box up because I need something to open tomorrow. Like, you got you got hot hands. Crack you got to keep it going, huh? <laughs> hot hands. That's yeah, serious. Hot hands. Hot hands. Hot hands. So, so I have stuff coming tomorrow. He, he was like, I probably could get it to you tomorrow. I was like, I got stuff coming tomorrow, but I'm, <laughs> I might need yeah. it this weekend. Look at that. You're trying to pick your kilos up. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, meet me at the back. Got got him for you. <laughs> Second box when, right here. When you start selling stuff and you pull cards out like I pulled yesterday, I'm telling you, it's some fiend stuff. Second pickup. So shout out to the homie out in Wisconsin. Shout out to him. Now, I don't want to say his name because I don't know, like, I don't know, you know, anybody bother me. But shout out to the Cream City team. He's out in Wisconsin. They got a clothing brand starting up called Crave, I believe. And he sent me a message and he goes, Yo, what size you wear? And I said, You know, nine and a half. You know, he's like, Can you wear a 10? I was like, Yeah, I can wear a 10. And he goes, I'm going to send you something. I'm like, Yeah, you know, don't, you don't got to do that. Like, I always feel bad when people send us stuff because, like, we ain't got nothing. Like, <laughs> I ain't got a plug. I ain't got nothing to like be like, yo, I got you. You know what I mean? Yeah. And he was like, no, don't worry about it. I don't even trip about making a dollar. It's coming to you, send it your way. So I was like, all right. I haven't looked at these yet. So I don't know what it is yet. So I just took it out the box in the car. And he was like, yo, you know, whatever. I know you respect them, like, or whatever. He was like, you know, just don't resell. I said, all right, cool. And uh, so I brought them here to open. And clearly, it's a Nike by you. I don't know mm -hmm. what it is. There's no name on it. So I don't know what this could be or whatever. So, oh, shoot. Oh, that's dope. Oh, that's a uh, Kristen shoe. <laughs> oh, that's tight. Oh, uh, okay. So, oh, that's tight. He sent these, man. Shout out to him, man. That was dope of him. So that's why he said that. He sent me a DM and said, yo, you always talk about her shoe and story, so you'd respect them from the Nike Bayou. Man, that's dope to him. Shout out to him. Yeah, Shout out to Kristen nice. Black. So she was one of the people that did the Nike Bayou thing, too, like Mark did with the Air Max Ones. And I had said, there's only two that I ever thought were okay, hers and uh, Mark's. And I love the New York logo. Had the There was more because I logo, almost bought Statue more Air Max Ones on that first release. Like, there were so well, many. There were some that were all right. First but I only bought like, nah. I only bought Marks because we in Arizona yeah, right. and we kind of knew them. No, no. Yes, but No, that was the only reason why I bought them. Because they looked I want to cool. say yeah, the, no, the no, colorway no. was fire. Well, no, the colorway was fire, but there were other colorways that were fire too. But like we told him, when you're ordering like a Nike by you, Nike ID, you don't know how that stuff yeah. is going to turn out. So it was I like. I expected it to be kind of bogus, but yeah. It was like, all right, well, you know, if everybody else is copping them because he's from Arizona, I'm going to go ahead and cop them too, whatever. I didn't even know him back then, you know. But uh, shout out to the homie for these, man. Shout out to the Cream City. Shout out to him, man. Pause. These are dope, man. <laughs> 
I appreciate him sending me this because he didn't have to send me this, man. That's dope of him. <laughs> I mean, it's from Wisconsin. That's what that's on the jersey of uh, the Bucks jersey. Oh, that is right. That's I've always Bucks wondered jersey. about that. He ex- really? Yeah, he explained on the Buck City jersey. Yeah. say Cream City. <laughs> he explained to me what it was, but I can't remember. It must have something to do with cheese. Uh, but Because uh, that's the no, only thing. Like dairy Wisconsin, and, yeah. Yeah, but Wisconsin he told me it was something else. We said that, and he said, no, nah, it's something else. So oh, That's the only thing I can think of. But shout out to him, I don't man. Look at that. Else. I got two, man. <laughs> shout out to him for that. And then I brought these because George is such a hater. Oh, yeah, this is the highlight. So these are my Clot Air Max. So I had a good week of pickups, man. Uh, especially Why didn't you bring Wimbledon's? Oh, they're not. He hasn't shipped them yet. Yeah, I got them. Oh, okay. He just sent me pictures. So they, they just got to him and... Uh, you know, he's from one of them providences in England. I don't know what it's called. Like, So, look, where did the well, release it? Like, uh, online raffle from Clock. Be careful with that knife. He's about to cut your neck. Yeah, you gotta, t- He better send us an invite, fam. I'm trying to go to England and like watch some soccer or something. I know it's Rona right now, but once they get fans back in the seats. Fam, we got a few homies that listen to podcasts out there. I'm trying to do some hooliganism. What are they? Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, the cats out there be having, they be fighting with hammers and, and oh, machetes. I'm not trying to do all that, but oh, you I can am. put a jersey you on. Go to, just, you go to a soccer match, we got to fight fam. somebody. Only thing I want to do is just go like this, high in a pub, and just have beer splash everywhere. Oh, I want to, and meet, then go to the match. I want to meet where like both teams fans meet in like an alley, yes, and then they just collide and start him. scrapping, <laughs> and then we just leave. I don't, you might not <laughs> leave. leave. You <laughs> open that. You might not leave. You open that because you said these are one of the wackest niggas of all time. Really? The, I don't. I just don't like the clear uh, toe box. Air Max clots. I want them on the raffle from the clot store in Hong Kong. It smells like clot store. It was wrapped it up like nice. <laughs> yeah, it's a clot of. It do smell strong. It smells like there's an entire can of air, a spray in here that's been <laughs> that's been pre sprayed. Ooh, look at that paper. Nice. I'm not reading none of that. <laughs> what else? Man, this is like parts of the body. Is this? Yeah. I think it's like parts of the foot or something, supposedly. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah. Oh, okay. It's like the bottom of the shoe. It's the is foot. Like, it's the foot, yeah. Damn, block, block all this stuff, man. I think, it says I don't colon know. on here. Damn. <laughs> colon. Ooh, what they here for, George? They match your hat. Mm. They are hard. <laughs> mm. <laughs> this is one of the only sneakers I really wanted to, I had to have this year. This was one that I said I might pay retail listen, for, resell listen, for. Listen, 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 I love Air Max ones, but this ain't for me. Ooh. No, no. I love Air. I love Air Max ones. So the shape of this shoe, and I will say, well, number one, you better not wear it with low socks because that leather will get you. But I do like that. The I do like that it's thin right there. That there's not padding because every see. other shoe. Every other shoe has. So the other colorway of this had the real foot on the bottom. Mm. There was the one that Mark had talked about, the gray ones. It had like an actual foot, like a color of a foot. This the materials like the are nice of outside yeah. of the leather, or leather. Oh, my Clear toe box. Gosh. That's, That's toe like box clear toe box. Nice. Clear, too. Yeah, yeah. Boy, ooh, crystal clear. Yeah, get you some. Look uh, at this leather insole. Oh, my God. Yeah, get you some. Uh, vape socks. The quality on these is insane. You're right. I gotta get some. I gotta go buy some. I gotta go look some Gucci's. Yo, shout out to Stan some too. Gucci. Yo, sh- show the Stan. You should get some of those. Gucci Yo, get the ghosts. white joint. Get the white joints. Because somebody asked some me what we're talking uh, about. Gucci uh, ghost uh, Ooh, socks. Ooh, get me some Gucci socks to go with these. Oh my god, I be killing the game. Mm. Yo, shout out to Stance, man. We got some uh, our shipment of, of Stan socks in. Oh, you want the greatest socks ever, right there? And this, and, and, like, Yo, and what I'm socks not are even. About? I'm not even not like, even joking. Yeah, no, no, no. I'm saying like this was way before Stan's contacted us. Like I was already buying Stan socks. So George told me these are the greatest socks ever. Typically, when George says some of the greatest stuff ever, I don't believe him whatsoever. Uh, right? He was right on these. So, <laughs> these socks right, right here. Everything. These socks right here. When that summertime coming, the shorts hit above the <laughs> kneecap. Oh my. <laughs> God, these are poor. <laughs> Dude, these are the Icon Quarters. Blanc, if you don't mess with these already, you got to mess with these. These are it. <laughs> Somebody was like, yo, which ones are they? The quarter. It's not low. It's not high. When your, your Nike, your shorts, right there with that kneecap, right there, them, them swim trunks. Oh, my God. These are the ones. <laughs> Shout out to Stans, man. These are fire. Chance George ordered the Stance draws, too. I want to try the draws. Them joints are expensive, though. Joint said butter blend. I was just like, what, uh, the underwear? Got to try it. Yeah. Damn, them joints made out of butter. <laughs> oh my! Those God. should be called creams, <laughs> little dairies. Dang, these joints are handmade. Paws, huh? These are handmade. Super paws. This handmade. leather on this tongue. Oh my goodness! Yo, shout out to me for winning that raffle. <laughs> <laughs> I had to go with the pickups. Huh? 
All right. George, you want to read that eBay ad for everybody? Sure. I hope you're not pressed for time, Blanc. No, of oh, course not. Okay. You know. From rare dead stock to the latest release, you can find the exact sneaker you're looking for on eBay. As the original sneaker marketplace, eBay is the place to go to cop the pair you've been eyeing. In partnership with eBay, Armchair Media will be raffling off four custom-made sneakers. Each purchase you make before March 31 through ebay.com slash sneakers will enter you into the drawing for a one-of-one one pair of Air Force One Lowe's. Just send a screenshot of your purchase to at Armchair Media on Twitter or Instagram. That's A R M C H A I R M E D I A. At Armchair Media. Whether rare, dead stock, or the latest release, find the exact shoe you're looking for on eBay. With eBay's authenticity guarantee, your sneakers are meticulously inspected by independent professional authenticators. A team of experienced Sneaker authenticators verify the box, logo, stitching, and dozens of other inspection points. Each sneaker also receives an authenticity guarantee tag that includes a digital stamp of authenticity and is customized with, customized with the sneaker's details. Authenticity guarantee also protects sellers with a verified return process. It's free, F-R-E-E, -E, to sell sneakers of $100 or more on eBay. Mm. And thanks to eBay's authenticity guarantee, verified returns make the whole transaction worry-free. With other sites taking as much as 25%, you're going to have a lot of money left, extra money, excuse me, left for, Greg? More sneakers. More sneakers. Bang, bang, bang. Blanc says he'll be here in five minutes. <laughs> uh, George, what comes out this week? It's a good question. I already closed the page down I was looking I'm at. Sure I know tomorrow's all on lock. tomorrow's Not dunk day. I know that much. Not I'm really long. waiting on um Bacon's. Man, what is up yeah. with me? That's another thing you need to bacon. talk some sense into him yeah. on. I think y'all. You hate Bacon's, but you like clear toe boxes. Look. Okay, <laughs> if you like those, then. Don't do that. That's what? not even the same. Air Max. Well, did you see the video on Nike? The girl put them on and walked around? Fam, the shape of that shoe looks yeah. incredible. Okay, you know what? This is what I will say. Mm -hmm. The, the, retro, the retro of these past infrared 90s. Damn joint. I saw them probably like, okay. Now I can see like, yes. okay. Maybe they not Materials, washed. Maybe fire. the versions previously just so trash. Now bacon's like that? Maybe. But the color block is like Neapolitan ice cream. I want bacon. Ugh, nasty. You don't like the color blocking on it? No, it looks like Neapolitan ice cream. I can't tell if they for <laughs> girls, boys, kids, girls. It's a smooth shoe. Nah. It's a smooth shoe. You always liked it? Uh, probably because I didn't really know about it until like the until, other retro. Hey, yeah. retro, what, like a couple years ago? I think it's only come out once. It, I could be wrong, out. but it's, it's only come out that one time. But yeah, it was I remember like ago. it had like resurfaced like like two or three. There years was a ago. video mm. that the dude from Dave's Quality Meat, I guess Dave, did a video with like what's the one in New York, not Flight Club, but the other one. Maybe we shouldn't even mention Stadium it. Stadium Goods? Yeah, but whatever. So they did a video series, and he was on there talking about like the release and like how he did the collab with Nike. And then like at first, it didn't sell out right away, and he was like actually trying to get people to come into the store to buy it, I guess, or something like that. I don't know. But mm. it was an iconic store, yeah. the one that had like a meat counter, but it was a sneaker shop. Dave Quality Dave's Meats. Dave's Quality mm. Meats. Yeah, the story of, behind him is like cool as shit, though. A lot of those New York stores that are like a iconic. lot of the stores well, I mean, typically the story behind a lot of OG here. stuff is always yeah, really those good. Those stores that are in there, all out of business. This was a really good idea. I wish I thought about it. Um, but tomorrow's Dunk Day. Speaking of dunks, uh, black and white lows come out. Um, I think, Syracuse. I think everybody highs. wants the black and white lows. Like, yeah. So is that on sneakers? I have two rays. Uh, draw. Yeah. All the dunks are drawn there. We'll see. Which is fine with me. I'll try for a Syracuse highs? Definitely. I'm gonna really? Try to yeah. You got Syracuse lows? I don't have the lows. Oh, well, then I guess I you have to. I'm going to try to flip them. So I'm <laughs> up front and honest with my I just, commentary. Yeah. If I get black and whites, I'll probably keep. But Syracuse is off flip. The dunk highs are nice, yo. See, I just they're haven't nice. got back in the dunk highs since dunks came back. And they not... Like they, it's like they. If made you got a like smaller foot, or something, you know mm. what I mean. Like they thinner. See, if they made thinner, maybe that. Now, help. Though, oh yeah, I forgot to mention those. I won those on raffle um, at Manor. The, Curry's uh, Curry, yeah. Well, what was funny is like Hannah was like, no wait, no, they're not Curry's because Curry is the low one that we want. These so Hannah was like, like dark Curry or something. Russet, no, not Russet. Yeah. Mm. So Hannah was like, let's go to the Curry raffle, and I was like, oh shit, they got the Curry raffle already. We got in the car. Zooming over there, she was like, "Here, it's this one," and I was like, 
Oh. <laughs> now, I still wanted to put in for it, but I don't. I want the low. So, I forgot to mention that one in pickups. I hit that one. So, you won at Manor? I did win at Manor. And we, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, we got to invite them dudes that work there to come on the show, too, by the way, because them dudes are cool. I, I was in there chopping it up with them for a little while. Did you invite them? Not specifically, but you the one got the don't do that account, so you oh, just sent a DM. <laughs> I mean, I probably said, fam, I don't remember. I was busy that day when I went to pick them up. I probably was like, yo, y'all got to come on the show, but I'm sure. Did I go like, hey, or shake your hand, you know, Shut set up. it up for next <laughs> Tuesday? No, I didn't do you it. You didn't put on a calendar? <laughs> yes. <laughs> If I don't DM you about it or text you about it, it did happen. Uh, it looks like another space hippie is coming out, but oh one. But I haven't seen pictures of that anywhere the except on this space hippie oh one. Oh, 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 another one of those. Oh, I know what, space, what this says. The space hippie basketball one's coming like out. Like mint green. Those, those were a failure. Mint green oh, bottom. That's kind of fire. So, but I haven't seen it anywhere else except this Man. release calendar. So maybe it's Europe. I don't know. Wait, what was a failure? Cosmics? Uh, uh, no. Nah, the, oh, the uh, space hippies. They were. Yeah. Uh, uh, they were. You don't think so? I like. Well, this is the only one I like. I don't really like. I although I did see someone wearing the like slip on high. Yeah. Don't not no laces or nothing. Yeah. Just a slip on. Yeah. It's kind of fire. Well, the the problem with those is they shouldn't have came out with every single model at once. They should have like dropped the one. Yeah, and but then later the two and the three. And I think four. Th- you're right, but I then they would have had to make more pairs of just one. Instead, they just made like limited runs of each. I'm like, man, they dropped them all, and it was like, well, clearly, like if you have the opportunity with a sneakerhead, if you have the opportunity out of like seven to pick one that's better than the rest, it makes the rest whack. Mm-hmm. Like if if we would if they would individually no, dropped, we would have been I like, oh, these are. No, I think the problem is. And I don't even know if it happened during Rona or before Rona, but I think the problem is you can't go see them in hand anywhere first before they come out. So it's like, that's rare. Though. Do I pick the low that's or never. do I pick the mid? Because I would have never picked the mid online until I seen somebody wearing it, and I was like, oh, Jones actually kind of tight. Yeah, that one I saw somebody wearing it too, and I was like, oh, it's not too bad. Like I don't really care for the technology, whatever that wider yeah. thing, but the, uh, uh, yeah. rocket lace. No, 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 not <laughs> yeah, that one. No, I'm not talking about that one with the like crazy laces or whatever. I'm talking about just the slip on mid. No, yeah, high. and it, it has the the flight ease. Yeah, it's on the Jordan yeah, 33s. Like you, it has a wire, and you pull it. Like, zzz, no, it I'm tightens. not talking about that. Oh, uh, maybe there's two one. different ones. There oh, is. okay. No, I don't like that one. I saw that, that one. one in person. I was like, oh, on foot, that no, ain't too like bad. That. I just like the plain mid one. You ever get Griffies? Uh, I did. Um, that's what it was. I had Griffies, and I was like, oh, I'm gonna pull this up real quick. I can't believe that they went like that. They, they restocked. You talking about that one? I don't like that. Yeah, one. I saw that in person. I was like, "Ooh, okay." Yeah, no, I don't like that. I saw one. somebody wearing it on foot. I like, guess decent, but it's it's too much going on. With I, was, I was about to say the same thing. It's like I don't know if it's too much going on, but I know it's impossible to get on your foot. Them thirty three Jordans, I couldn't wait for them. Took me about fifteen <laughs> minutes to get them on. Fifteen minutes to get them off. I'm talking about this right here. It kind of looks like a smash pancake I in this picture. But them. It kind of looks smash, but, but I seen somebody wearing this one. That's the worst mm. picture of all time. It, it's, <laughs> yeah, it's not. This is not Kith filter. This uh, is anti Kith filter. <laughs> but I seen somebody anti-kith. wearing this shoe. I don't know if it was this colorway or not, but it was. I was like, oh damn, that shit is fire. Anti Kith filter. You swipe one Kith, but this one the next. All right. So tomorrow's dunk day. Those space hippies supposedly come out somewhere. Who knows? Um, over or uh, over breaks on the eleventh. The Mars over ones. breaks. Oh no, not over that. breaks. I got that rose the, on it. Uh, Oh, it's okay. a collab yeah. with somebody. It's called, it? it's called uh, Overbreak Undercovers. Undercover. And they collab. got that yeah, rose yeah, on. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I know what you're talking about. They okay. I thought they already released like that 57 rose is times. Whack. You know what that rose yeah. made me think of? You the know. sale colorway is good. This one is good. The black one sucks. It's okay. I hate that yeah. rose. Fam, the first thing I think of when I see it's that so rose small. is like is like when like that family friend and like she got big old titties and she got a rose yeah, on yeah, it. That's the like, first thing. <laughs> I was like, I don't look like the like yo, name like yeah. person. It looked it. like when you go like a barbecue and like your aunt friend from high school, she yeah. come through and she got a, a rose and like her name like that. Like, it's like you know she hate that, but she still show it off. That's the first thing I think of when I see oh, that. Man. I'm like, look at this rose for no reason. <laughs> Stupid Rose. Now, I, I, now, shout out to homie Mr. Miller. He got those, and his pictures are always really dope. They look dope. There's elements I like of them, mm. but I couldn't get myself to try to cop those. The sale one's good. Yeah. I, I have really even, like the Mars ones. They, uh, they, uh, they, uh, they, uh, they, uh, they uh, I, I haven't even all the ones I got. And technically, those are the Mars ones, but you got to do a little work to them. <laughs> yes. You got to unspray paint them. <laughs> you do. Uh, carpet Company SB High. 
I like those. I'm going to tell you them that. do not like them. See, I don't uh, like highs. Uh, I don't so, hate the shoe, but I, it's, uh, it's a high. He sent me a video. He already got a pair. The homie Josh. Shout out to Josh. He got them. I like them. I think they are. But right. the problem with... See, they look okay. The problem with Dunks is, is that there are some that you can tell should have been lows. These mm-hmm. should have been a low. Definitely. I think there are some Dunks that look better high, some that look see, better low. I think the problem is... All the skate shops are probably asking Nike for dunk lows, and Nike's probably like, some of y'all motherfuckers got to make highs. <laughs> like, yeah, I think that's really yeah. what See, happened. And they're and like, you can't even make all lows. And I feel like, did we ask Dion that with Complex? I don't know. I don't because I felt like he said they get to choose what they want. Now, that's con, I mean, concepts. That's concepts. But like, I feel the same way too. Like, can you be like, yo, uh, I want to make a Jordan 1. I want to SB yeah. dunk low, you know? And they'd be like, uh, Jordan 1 low? No. You're going to get this dunk high. Yeah, like I think I they're don't. okay. Yeah. <laughs> but it's another one of those rip it and burn it, tear it, mm-hmm. and but whatever. But here's the thing. If you like this one, the one that Atlas won is way better. How much is it going for? For Well, size 12 is 500 right now. It'll be go down a little bit yeah. after release. God but dang. That's a lot. If you look, people hated on the Atlas one, but Atlas is no one hated on it. It's just no one really thought about it. Like y'all hated. When you agreed on the day, and then the week after that, you were like, "What were we doing?" Well, I was more like, "What were you doing?" Because you came out of nowhere talking about the Atlas. I was like, "Yeah," because it didn't have any hype before it came out. Like we didn't even—I don't even think we talked about it at being a release shoe because it was just like it came. They put pictures up, and then it was like because it was on sneakers. I don't think so. It was was on sneakers. I tried. And it oh, would, it looked that. whack on sneakers. It was tied up way too tight. No, I don't remember that. Uh, It'll turn you off. It'll quick. turn you <laughs> off for quick. sure. Uh, <laughs> now, see this shape, Air Max One. I mean, uh, Air Max, Air Max Ninety. Now, if you said that shape sucks, okay, I agree with you because that shape looks whack. I mean, that looks like the shape, man. No, it does. Oh. No. What is that? St. Patrick's Day? Yeah, it's like Saint, a little higher, a little bit. St. Patrick's Day Ninety also comes out. This comes out in two days or something. <laughs> this is not the same shape. Come on. And wow. the materials look terrible too, but anyways, that that comes out. Um, let's see here, man. This phone, mm-hmm. Samsung. Mm-hmm. Yep, <laughs> Samsung about to send a cease and desist. Uh, oh, so you were right about the Cosmic Unity Space Hippie that comes out. You like those? Mm-mm. The basketball? What? No, I don't really. <laughs> Every time I hear you say, I'll be like, Yo, what is <laughs> that? These set because the other way colorway came out, they're sitting and the, the green one sold out. But I saw them, uh, we went to the mall one of these days, I don't know what it was, and uh, they're not too bad, but you can't, they're not, they're not what I thought they were. That's how yeah. I put it out now for you know, for like balling or something, 71, 62. <laughs> I might cop them, like <laughs> maybe like 160, oh, 155, 150, 160. Yeah, yeah, that's tough. I was like 150. I think this uh, is. <laughs> uh, so think V2 700 creams coming out. Pause. Maybe it's the Milwaukee. Oh, thing. it's a wave runner. <laughs> Milwaukee. It's a I wave runner. Stop talking about that. <laughs> uh, I, I think it's nice. I just don't think I can pay 250 or whatever. Not for, for an all white. Yeah, like, I don't think I can pay that for that shoe. Nah. Yeah, I'd rather pay four hundred for the yellow. Do you like color. it? I do like that. Though. See, there was yeah, one. I don't, I don't dislike. There it. was it's another just, color like of that that, that yeah, y'all or whatever. White yeah, silver. you thought it was the greatest thing. But that's because this kind of looks like it, and sale to me is better than white. So it's like, yeah, this is the better. midsole should have been sale too. Have you seen what the You're new probably right. Look like like they're using oh like, that like uh that plastic. So, so is that a new three fifty or just another color? It's like a new version. Oh, Okay, I don't like it. You got like the little holes in the netting. Yeah. It and don't look like a easy. There's a 380 coming out too. I think they already released a couple places. Oh, that uh, blue one, Covalite, whatever that means. Oh, it's navy blue. Yeah, uh, I think it's fire. I seen a couple on foot pictures. It's uh, kind of fire. I don't like the color of the rubber around the the gum. Uh, that's not really gum though. It's like translucent. Oh, it's um, translucent gum. It just looks like it's old, 35 years old, like 35 years old clear rubber that turned yellow. I mean, it doesn't. It look good to me, no. but I don't own any navy blue shoes. Y'all got navy blue shoes? Mm-mm. Yeah. No, I yeah, got I some all right now. Got, uh, Olympic pit. Oh yeah, we stopped doing that. I by never the way. wear those. You were right. What we rocking? Yeah. What, <laughs> what he was wearing. And the best shoe of the week coming out to me is this. Oh, yeah, that's hard. Ain't that European or is that like... Women's. No, it's called uh, weird. Women's. Yeah. No, it's the best shoe of the week. It looks like a women's I, shoe. I understand it's a dunk, but... Well, it's, it's pink. That's no, I, I, I like... The shoe. So they call it like... What do they call it? Orange color or something pink. orange. Pearl orange? Yeah, something like that. Eh. That's the best shoe of the week. Eh. I think that navy blue... 
kryptonite, whatever it's called. You're smoking. <laughs> that 380 is fire. I'm going to tell you. It's not. I mean, it ain't terrible, I, but it ain't the best shoe. The elite. only navy blue shoes I own are the ones that you're wearing, the Crip Air Max 1s. And then technically, if you want to say our Costin Lowe's, the first Costin Jordan 1 SB, I guess you would say that's navy. You got a navy ultra boost you always forget about. I gave him the Oscar, and he trashed them, so I don't got those anymore. Well, but you don't have your favorite ultra boost of all time, then. Those are right. <laughs> that's no. not? Okay. I mean, maybe you say ASU, mm-hmm. I guess, now, but. I mean, man, you're probably right, but I let him wear them one time. He's a teenager. He let him wear them to the gym one time, and I don't want these back. I mean, why did you let him wear them to the gym, man? Because, man, it's my son. What do you want me to tell my son? No. <laughs> yeah, give him a different pair of ultra boots that you own. You can't, because back then I didn't have any. Now I got uh, over a <laughs> box of them. Right. A trade. Like anybody trade looking for ultra boots, so let me know. <laughs> <laughs> for the L O D S. Um, what was I about to say? What was I about to say? Though, actual moron. <laughs> <laughs> I like oh the the navy blue Georgetown threes. They're on sneakers app now. You like those? I don't know. I don't uh, got navy blue shoes. Uh, yeah, those. Yeah, they showed up on sneakers without any anyone even talking about it. Like mm-hmm. I clicked on there and they were there. Are y'all y'all like those? I'm not copping a three unless I get I'm I on mean, my. Head. I get, unless I get I'm my year, I'm not buying a three. So if I don't yeah, get, that's true. If I don't get the I'm, I didn't I'm get cool grades. <laughs> you already set right. yourself over for for her disappointment. Well, I'm gonna be mad because they're making the I'm in my years in toddler and kid sizes. Like, yeah, but you, it's a collab. They're not making a million pairs. No, but like I said, they they should have stopped. Don't make kid sizes and make more adult sizes. What does <laughs> what my toddler? What my my infant need? I'm in my years for. I don't need that for. I mean, maybe you can live vicariously through the, your toddler. Oh, my There's God. There's a lot of people that I cop toddler that shoes that and stuff, miss no. the adult shoes, and they're like, well, at least I got this. <laughs> I'll be sitting there looking at skate feet. Shout out to the homie skate. I'll be like, yo, why got all these? Joey B.O. DS. DS Jordan 1 bread babies. I'm like, yo, what's up with this? So he got a collection. He got, skate got everything, all right? Yeah. That Pokemon cereal box, he had posted a picture of how much it was going for on Stock X, and he was like, well, dang, anybody want to buy this? I was like, what do you got? this for <laughs> skate owns every <laughs> single thing that you could think of that's collectible on earth period except maybe sports cards i don't think he got sports cards he I'm might but he that. doesn't but he doesn't put them on instagram i'm not even gonna say that he probably got a warehouse of sandy, <laughs> sandy koufax tommy la Russa's, everything if he did have something it would be a lot of dodgers in there and it would be all like sandy koufax kershaw rookie <laughs> everything. uh real quick i want to just touch on real quick that kid situation i don't know if anybody saw it in my feed a lot of people message me saying they agree or disagree so just to kind of give a background onto it, what it is real quick. So shout out to the homie Rico, obviously Rico, that's family. And then DJ Swavor, Swavor, yeah. Swaver, I think, not being disrespectful, you know, shout out to him. And uh, David Blackman, who I talk to all the time about this stuff. So they've been like, and I saw them talking about this a while ago. And I talked about it on the episode that you weren't here with Jay a little bit, but I didn't really touch on it that much because like, the first time I saw it was when Rico had posted on his story that everybody needed the Simpsons collaboration, but they didn't need the Black History shirts from Kith. And that was the thing. And I and and it was and this is the situation, right? So they're like, I guess, and I could be wrong, but it seems like they. I'm not like mad. I'm, this is the homies. Um, like they're mad at the consumer for not wanting the Martin Luther King shirts and not wanting the Black History shirts, but they copped the Biggie stuff and they copped the Simpson stuff, like, mm-hmm. you know, whatever. And I was just like, it doesn't make any sense. And I said I disagreed with it because, this. first of all, let's talk about the Simpsons collaboration first. That Simpsons collaboration might be one of the best collaborations nah, yeah, I have true. ever seen. Especially like the stack T. Oh, the, my uh, God. Yeah. Like, that Simpsons, first of all, and I said, they're mad at the consumer for not wanting the stuff. And I'm like, no, you should be bothered by Kith. And here's why. So that Simpsons collaboration is 30 pieces, like 30 sweatshirts, T-shirts, socks, hats, every single thing you could think of. I'm talking the highest quality stitch. Mm-hmm. The one thing about the Simpsons and Blanc wasn't even alive when Simpsons started. Me and George were. Like, I remember arguing about what the squiggly line was behind Homer's ear, whether it was ear hair or whatever, like with kids and First grade or kindergarten. And I remember the when- The dude's initials, I mean. I'm sorry, what? The hair on Homer's head? That's his initials? That's the Matt Groening's initials. You really? Know that? Fam, this is like, <laughs> I've been known for you like- You learn a, something every yeah, day. Decades. What? I just thought it was ear hair. I know you did. Holy smokes. Well, I mean, I, uh, I guess I should have known. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways- when the Simpsons first came out, the Simpsons were like a two-minute clip on like the Saturday night 
live show. Oh, shoot, look at his name. Matt Groening. Look at that hair. That's crazy. Or look at the G or and the E. Groening or oh, however you... Oh, that's crazy. Yo, shout out to him. So, <laughs> but I remember when, like, Simpsons would be, like, on a movie trailer. Like, Simpsons would come on before a movie sometimes in a trailer. And, like, people don't remember how polarizing Simpsons was because it was a cartoon with adult dialogue. Like, Bart used to be cursing and stuff like that. Well, what was considered, like, major cursing, I guess, for television. He would say, like, you know, ass and damn and stuff like that. Right. And what the hell and stuff like that. And which was, like, I remember my mom didn't want me to watch the Simpsons because she hated Bart. She was bad. And Homer would be choking the crap out of him and stuff on TV. But we grew up with The Simpsons. This is 30 years of stuff. That Kith collaboration showed the emotions of The Simpsons, the history, the art, the cloud. I mean, that collaboration was done phenomenally. All right. Now, the Martin Luther King collaboration. Let me tell you guys something. It sucked. Okay. It was whack. Okay. I don't understand the connection, what it was. First of all, it was only five, five items. Simpsons was 30. So you could be mad at Kith for like oh, five items. Like that's it for Martin Luther King Day. And then every shirt, not everyone, three out of like the five shirts had the New Yorker on it. It was like a picture, a cover of the New Yorker with Martin Luther King on it. And I was like, what does the New Yorker got to do with this? Like in the T-shirt, the New Yorker. And on the back was like Martin Luther King on the cover. Now, so wait, is this uh, like a sneaker world um, what, discussion? Yeah, like is this like a controversy in sneaker world or just from well, like just from Rico them. and, pe- and, and Dave maybe and others? You know. I'm sure uh, it's right. others. You know, whatever it is, but okay. like people that were messaging me because I re I don't know if they me. picked it up from like uh, I don't I, I don't know where it started. Something. I don't oh, know where right. it started. So that's where I was like, no, Kith. I'm at a Kith for doing a five piece Martin Luther King. That's it. All you got, and it says New Yorker. I mean, uh, Martin Luther King was born in Atlanta and and killed in in Tennessee, like. What does the New Yorker got to do with this? Like, you couldn't even make it just about him. And then the fact that it's Martin Luther King. I have a problem when people put black people on shirts and they're not black. Like, he was blue. I was like, why? why? Get this off of here. When you think of Martin Luther King, you think of the words. Like, I have a dream, the speech, sitting at the table, boys and girls. What was the point of it? Because it was for MLK Day? It was for Martin Luther King Day. That's what the drop was for. So it was like, well, this is whack. That's why nobody bought it. Because they were mad like, well, you wanted the Simpsons stuff, but you didn't buy this stuff. Okay. Now let's talk about the Black History Month stuff. I talked about it with Jay. Black. They did a good job. They found four black artists. Unknown or known, I don't know them. Yeah, that's to dope. design shirts. This is the thing. Each artist got two shirts to design. And Kith, these are artists. If you're an artist, you're if an artist, if a if somebody says, I want to hire you artist, here's a blank wall. Do whatever you want. And what Kith did, Kith said, design something right here. Just yeah. that. I was like, you told these artists to make something in this little thing. And then the in-store shirt. It was like this, just right here. I was like, so the back is blank, all the sleeves are blank. You told an artist, you can find an artist to, to this right here. That sucks. That's why nobody wanted to buy it. I'm mad at Kith for that. I'm not mad at the consumer for not wanting it. Now the biggie stuff, the biggie stuff sold out. Most of it did. Yeah. New York connection, obviously. A New York connection. They obviously had Jada Kiss and everybody wearing it. But let me tell you something. That biggie stuff was Whack. whack. Yeah, it I was, was whack. Say, that Biggie stuff was not good. Like, you would think. You're talking about, like, the stuff they put up for, like, Monday. Yeah, Monday or program. Whatever. Yeah, yeah. Fam, like, I haven't. I get an email on two different email addresses for Kith stuff. I haven't looked at one since probably the Dodgers stuff came out. I do, because I love Kith stuff. Mm-hmm. I mean, we all do, but right. number one, they probably don't have anything that fits me. And number two, ever since you've been talking about materials on clothing, I'm not buying their clothing. Uh, Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. The I'll buy materials. their. Woo! I'll buy their New Balance. Collabs, I'll buy their Ace Collabs. I'm not buying their clothing. That Simpsons showed like their personalities of the characters. That Bart standing there, fully stitched Bart, and on the back he's crossed his fingers. Had the back of Bart yeah. and the front of Bart, and on the front he's crossed his fingers crossed. Bad M- Maggie's not Maggie. Uh, Lisa's face like mm, like always begrudging <laughs> all the time. That was a phenomenal collection. The 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 biggie collection you would think there's only been two things biggie ever did ready to die and life after death like y'all can't think of nothing else like you can't put a picture of biggie or have an artist recreate him like a a cartoon biggie something creative and they made cigarette lighters an ashtray a couple of ready to die you could find any of that stuff at any stop on earth you type in google ready to die t-shirt biggie there's people selling this stuff everywhere nonsense should it have sold out no that's just ridiculous people but it's biggie what do you want biggie is considered one of the greatest rappers of all time 
you know, I know why, but like yeah. two albums, you know, that's another argument See, here nor there. Kith is <laughs> Kith is big enough now where they can start going to bigger. Like, I, why didn't they go to like Kahinde Wiley or something like that? Like, they're big enough now where they can go to the bigger artists to do stuff like that and don't right. put the image <laughs> four by six or way three by five bigger or than whatever that. On the that stuff is like when the homie gets shot and you put rest in peace you go get a screen print like yeah. what is this the, the t-shirts at life after death and like had a biggie uh, come on man like you couldn't figure something out it this is what last week or when was that one it, this week was on this monday yeah. i think this monday, monday. yeah Rico was yesterday like, give me the ashtray like, what do you need the ashtray uh, and biggie for <laughs> what do you need a biggie ass? It was like one good well, like shirt. I think they were trying to capitalize on like the Supreme stuff where like mm. people buy anything Supreme. Ashtray, uh, right. tent, uh, um, chair, no, whatever. Maybe that makes a little sense, but yeah. still, we're talking about biggie here. It was, um, I mean, in any of the videos, was there like, I know there was blunts everywhere, but was there any ashtray prominently featured in any? No. Like, did he have, Does was there any tie-in with Biggie? Because I can't think of anything. Because I'm thinking to myself, what, whatever the bar is where you talk about down to the Gucci socks, I would have made Kith Gucci-looking Gucci, yeah. socks. Well, like, yeah, you could do that with, like, we're going to do so a collab. so many things. Yeah. Or, like, a red and black lumberjack. You know what I mean? Something. Like, they could have did a lot. Yeah. Or I would have brought in Kooji. They collaborated with Kooji before bringing yeah, Kooji yeah. and do a t-shirt, sweater, something. Too expensive. Now, look, like I said, they have their own reasons why they're like, oh, people don't support the black stuff that black stuff sucked i'm mad at kith for like not showing the same attention for whatever reason because it might not be kith's fault mm -hmm. it could be Martin Luther king's estate it could be whatever reason i don't know because 50 percent of the proceeds from Martin Luther king went to Martin Luther king's estate and then 50 percent of the proceeds for the black history month went to something else it could be for whatever reason but like i said you can tell on kith collaborations how much attention goes into other things than certain things that was it. That was my whole thing. Because they were like, oh, people were like, yo, you disagree. You're crazy. Black people built this country. And like, okay, that's not, I'm not going to argue the history of black people and Kith. Like, I'm not going right. to do that. Well, wait, who was saying that? Like people in the DMs. Because I, David Blackman had tagged me on his thing and he right. had, uh, I couldn't read it, but he was basically saying like, oh, you want to buy all the Biggie stuff, but you don't want to. To you or in general? To, in general. He had posted it on a thing. He okay. said, y'all want to buy all the Biggie cool, Biggie hip hop stuff, but you don't want to buy the Black History Month of the Martin Luther King stuff. And I'm like, well, but it wasn't good. It sucked. Yeah. It, it, it just flat out sucked. Okay. Not their fault. Yeah, it's I'm not their fault. I'm thinking at the beginning of the, when you started talking about this, you're on the same side with them two about like. It's Kit's fault or whatever. Well, no, I'm saying that they're blaming the consumer for not wanting oh, to buy okay. it. They're like, "Oh, you want Kith? You, you want Biggie shirts?" I didn't see but that thread, so I was like, "That's what yeah." I'm it was um, he had like tag man. I just put it in the IG story thing or whatever. Fam, I legit haven't paid attention to Kith in since you started saying there the clothes you got suck, and since Dodgers thing. See the, the like I tried to buy the Coca Cola one and. The, I took an L, so I was like, yeah. That Dodgers t-shirt was one of the worst t-shirts I've ever purchased in my entire life. <laughs> now, I'm sure the sweaters and hoodies and all, I'm sure they were yeah. fire. But that t-shirt was embarrassing. It smelled crazy. It wasn't white. The, I mean, I, I got the championship ring. That's supposed to like be vibrant. Mm -hmm. It was faded. It looked like it was the OG, from the first the ring. Like, I was like, get this vintage, ring out of here. Vintage is popular. So yeah, it wasn't even wide. vintage. It can't be vintage with a t-shirt that heavy. The t-shirt right. was a gilded. <laughs> Shout out to them. Shout out to Rico. Shout out to DJ Swaver. I don't want to disrespect his name. Shout out to David Blackman. Uh, what was he talking about? Uh, yeah, you got other stuff on there. I know that's not oh, it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll start with I didn't watch any of it, by the way. I So, I texted with... How so, I played, fan, George, I played fantasy basketball. Uh -huh. I played fantasy basketball, and I was checking my lineup. And it was like... I went to like the next day. No games. The next day. So All Star Weekend caught me by surprise because of Corona. It's nowhere near what it normally is. It's normally like second weekend in February. Right. So I texted Andy because I know Andy would know. He watches every NBA. I was like, "Fam, is it All Star Weekend right now?" And I think this was on like Tuesday or Wednesday. And he was like, "Well, it's All Star Day. <laughs> it's yeah. like only Sunday. Only There's Sunday. nothing else going on because of Corona." So I was like, "Okay, cool." And then I don't know what it was, but on Sunday. I think I fell asleep at like maybe like three or four in the afternoon and slept till like 8 p.m. I was asleep for like in uh, like those. on the couch mm. nap, not even in bed, like on the couch. I was asleep for like four or five hours. Uh, Them the worst. Uh, yeah. Slept through. I think I woke up in time to probably watch the third or fourth quarter or whatever. But at that point, I just was like yeah. disinterested. I was yeah. like, I'm not going to. I, I watched what I heard, but like. I hate them naps. Uh, like, because you so, wake up disorientated. Yeah, I hate when I fall asleep. I'd be like, man, I can't wait for Sunday night football. <sighs> wake up fourth quarter. One okay, so left. we talked a little bit 
little bit about the All Star rosters because I know you and Andy were arguing about whatever. Oh and, my God, I'm gonna ask about that too. Wait, hold on. Shay didn't make the All Star game. No, he didn't get voted in or the coaches. Yeah. Okay. Look. Look. I went and looked at his. Okay, so I have two of his rookie cards. I went back and looked at his numbers for this season Phenomenal. just to make sure that I was like, because I looked at the prices, then they were down a little bit, and like two weeks ago they were up. So I went and looked at the, his numbers. I was like, fam, he's averaging 23, 6, and 5 or something like that. How is And his PER and all the like advanced stats are all high. Is he hurt? How did he not make the All-Star game? I don't know. I didn't look at that. Yeah, he but like, hurt. see, that's the thing when it's like. Who, but who, who, I don't, I didn't look the roster Levine, up, but who made it? Levine, Ben so that Simmons, makes sense. Embiid, Levine, Ben Ballin. Vujicic. Um, oh, I mean like guards. Like Oh, guards, uh, uh, Ben Levine Simmons. Levine makes sense making it over whatever. Ben Simmons. Levine's probably averaging 30 or Ben Simmons, to. Beal, Levine. James Harden, of course. Harden, of course. Oh, yeah, Kyrie Irving. all the damn players to the Eastern right. Conference. That's why. Luca. Look, let me ask you a question. Okay. okay. I'm about to ask you this. I'm asking you this because I know you play basketball and you know basketball. I'm just asking you this real quick before we talk about all-star stuff. All right. I mean, me and Andy can't go a day without arguing about Devin Booker. Yeah. Um, all right. Okay. Yeah. I mean, we started arguing about Devin Booker like before the the game started. Do you feel Devin Booker was snubbed? Not that he's not an all star. Mm-hmm. Not that he's great. That he was snubbed. That he should have been. Do I feel like he was? He he was though. He was just hurt though. No, no, right? no, no. He got put in because someone else got hurt, and then okay. they said, "Oh, Devin Booker's." Not oh, so oh, so do I feel like he's snubbed? Yeah, like. He should have been voted um, in, or the coaches should have put him in. Do you feel that way? That's tough. I don't think so. I don't. I, either. I don't think so because of the way they do it now. It's not like East and oh, West. Oh, it's not it's, East and West. And it's okay, just one big pool, right? It's so, one big pool. So when you look at it from a one big pool like aspect, it's like yeah, you know what I mean? it's, it's, it's dude. Like, okay, me. so let me just say something that's probably going to be a little controversial right now because I'm looking at the roster. Honestly, if it's one person who shouldn't have made the All Star game this year, despite the fact that he's balling when he's actually there, Kyrie, Kyrie sat out for like two, three weeks just because he wasn't feeling, yeah. feeling it or whatever. I mean, fam, <laughs> now he's on a tear, if you want, no, no, I know yeah, he's yeah. on my fantasy team, so yeah. I know he's playing well when he's in. But fam, you did, you just didn't show up. We, they, we, I seen picture of you and your thing on. Uh, <laughs> On uh, web, not WebEx. What's the other one? Your thing said Kai Kai Irving or whatever. You at that like city council meeting online? Oh, huh? You ain't yeah. playing. Come on, man. Look, man. That's see, but he was voted in. I think. Who was? Well, it, it looks Kyrie. like he's a starter. So Durant yeah. probably picked him, yeah. right? Yeah. Or, so, like, or does the fan vote still matter? But so, then they pick. From I think the, you so, vote. So they pick. So you got. So like they do it like the day before the All Star game on TNT with like yeah, Chuck yeah. and LeBron. And all so yeah. like. It's a but the fans still vote for yeah. 10 guys, yeah. and so then the, they so pick. So the fans okay. vote, and then I think the players the players and coach. no, nah, it's the coaches who got like a percentage of right. the vote. So what it is okay. is, like you said, the 10 get voted, and then out of that 10 are starters. Mm-hmm. LeBron and Durant yeah. had to pick out of that 10, okay. and then another block of reserves come right. in that the mm-hmm. coaches put in. Right. So – that was the whole thing with me and Andy were talking about because he thinks that I think Devin Booker isn't good. That's not the case. Devin mm-hmm. Booker is a phenomenal yeah, basketball player, but I'm sorry. Like you're talking about Kyrie. Kyrie. It might looks like the roster's smaller than normal too. Is that a thing? No, no. What happened? Of corona was, well, what happened was was that uh, Joel Embiid yeah. and Simmons got Corona really? like that day or something. Edge up. Yeah. But there's only yeah. seven. Yeah. Barbara had Corona. Well, there's only seven subs. I thought normally the All Star team's fourteen or more guys. A lot of people uh, got the little, you know, like the COVID shit. You know what I mean? I don't know what. I don't right, know, but I'm saying maybe they did bring it down. I don't in know. general, did they not make the roster smaller because you could have put Shy in there if you had? I don't feel like it was that many. Or you could have put Booker. It wasn't. Booker opted out, or mm. what happened to Booker? Well, oh, he got like hurt. Or something like that. Mm-hmm. Ankle or something? Something like that. So, like, he was a reserve of a reserve and got hurt. Mm-hmm. So, that right. was the whole thing I kept saying with Andy because, like, you talk about Kyrie. Or Kyrie might be a top 10 player in the entire league. I always consider the top Probably. 10. I always consider the top 10 are automatic locks. I don't right. care what they've done weird. AD made it. AD's been hurt forever yeah, he now. Had no business. Yeah. He had no business being in it. But if you're a top 10 player, you're a lock. You're in. Throw right. you in there. That's period. Now, the road reserves thing. And look. I think Booker was a good player, but to me it speaks volumes when the coaches don't put you in, but they put CP in. They put mm-hmm. CP three in. They, the coaches said, "Oh, CP three in." To, now, see, that's my thing. I think they if, should have fifteen players each if, team. If they was to put a son in, right? 
it maybe it should have been Booker. No, over no, CP. No. Because you know what? If Booker wasn't on this team and CP3 still came, I think the Suns still would have made the playoffs. He he took yeah. them thunder there. I don't think Booker by himself, no CP, they're not making the playoffs. That's, That's how I think. Now everybody That's saw that yeah. everybody saw the bubble and was like, oh, the Suns, maybe. Yeah. Ah, I was like, it's the bubble. I, I need to see the Suns play in front of humans, like not in front <laughs> yeah. of the air, you know, whatever. But Andy well, just they're selling it. tickets now. Are they are there yeah. fans at the games now, or is it in the next after the All Star break? Oh, after All Star break, okay. They've I, been in there for a minute now. Oh, oh no, they, they, like they have. Yeah, I have friends that's been. So they've been in there for a while now. Big tags. Oh, okay. Dude, and my dude. friend was like, yo, we saw uh, Kendall Jenner. And I'm like, okay, relax. But that was another thing, too. Is she dating Booker? Or yeah. yeah. Okay. So here's the thing I said, too, as well, was that, like, we got into another argument because somebody said, um, Kenny Smith or somebody said, you want to give this guy the ball in the clutch. I can't remember who it was. And, like, oh, you were him the last shot of the game. And we were like, huh? And then we started listing current players in the thread, like, ooh, I, I definitely have CP in the clutch. He's always been pretty close. I'd have this person, mm-hmm. whatever. And then Andy said, Devin I mean, Booker. I don't want him shooting, but I want the ball in his hands. And you it was, a, it was for a shot. Yeah. Okay. So- CP3 has been pretty clutch. Yeah. The- yeah, but I don't want him shooting a jumper. Like, put him in the pick and roll, yeah. put a, corner in, a shooter in the corner, and then you have a roll man or a pop man, CB3, and a shooter. Like, you got three options. But, so. You definitely and, want him handling the ball. I'll take him the, the little elbow. Yes. Pop and pop but that's, mm-hmm. that's an option if well, the, no, no. the defense yes, gives yes, you yes. that. Options. But if you had to just pick the person, like, hey, game on the oh, line. Oh, no. Nah. Yeah, I would, yes. Yo, oh, yes. I would, CP3 would be one of If you're people. saying you have to pick a player who's going to ISO and take the shot, there's, there's no op- option to pass. No, nah, I'm not picking them. I would. You're not I would. picking CP? I would. No. A little ISO. Where you have to take the, the shot? Oh, well. Nah, I would pick Kyrie probably because Kyrie oh, yeah. is unguardable one on one. Kyrie. But, like, he said Devin Booker. And I was like, yeah. hmm? I can't get now. He sent proof that statistic-wise, he's the most clutch in the NBA since his arrival, which may be true. But my whole point is, is that Devin Booker, you know, I'm sorry, let me let me give you an example. So shout out to the homie Mike from We're Just a Messenger's Podcast. You know Tiana mm-hmm. Taylor, right? Right. Tiana Taylor. You know Tiana Taylor. Everybody knows Tiana Taylor. Yeah. I mean, talk about Wrong the shoot. most talented, <laughs> the most beautiful, the most entertaining, the most talented people ever. And she's always on Twitter complaining about how she's not respected. Right. And shout out to the homie Mike on We're Just a Messenger's podcast. He has said, it just sometimes just doesn't work out for you that way. Mm-hmm. You could be the greatest ever, but it just doesn't work. I look at Devin Booker that way. Devin Booker is a phenomenal player, but don't nobody think about Devin Booker. Like, yeah. I'm like, Devin Booker is dating a, a Jenner Kardashian, and we don't really like. I mean, oh, Devin Booker, like, of course. <laughs> like, it took us forever. I just think it's because yeah. th- he doesn't have, no one thinks he has, no one knows or thinks he has personality. We well, don't, I, we well, don't, he doesn't talk. It, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's a little true. bit of that. And it's in Arizona. It's taken a lot of people. No, 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 no. no, no. no, no but it, Bar- no. when Barkley was out here, there was no, like, yeah, but that's, that's the Arizona height of, That's height of basketball. That's nah, 92, 93, that. 94, do 94. There's oh, no, no act like basketball damn, wasn't the like. Relax. It's social, was, media right it's social media era right now. It was not social media. Or, like. Even if Booker was a Laker, I don't even – maybe. maybe my you know, no, he don't talk. He don't, no, yeah, but no, but see, here's the thing. I look at him like Dame. It's taken everybody a long time to give Dame his respect, and Dame yeah. has been balling forever. Portland is a much less of a known city than Phoenix, though. Right, but it's more of a basketball. I would, I would consider uh, more basketball than here. The Suns made the finals with Barkley. I mean, the I Suns. Mean, the Blazers made the finals with, with Drexler and them. Oh, fam, in the 80s, 83 or it something It wasn't like 83. Like, don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> oh, I'm talking about when Jordan beat them. Jordan, okay, don't do that. Jordan went like this. Sorry. Jordan made them three. Yeah, so well, that was a non-competitive series. So. <laughs> <laughs> I look. I had a lot of whack players on that Blazers team. I hated all those players. Jerome Kersey, Buck Williams, all them. Oh, my God. I love Drexler, though. But Terry Porter. Who, Terry who, Porter. He was Terry Porter and Drexler. Terry that was Porter a combo. Was like Kenny Smith. Um, but that was my whole thing. Before your time. Yeah, yeah it was. <laughs> Way before your time. Yeah. I uh, And that's the thing. I was just like, I don't. it's not Booker. It's well, just so that no one thinks about Booker. Your complaint about basketball should be like when Jordan did that in a half, it was the NBA record. <laughs> that would be like. That's my no Jordan, huh? No, no, no. Oh, I'm yeah, saying yeah. You're, you hate threes. So, like. That's the argument you should always make is like, fam, in 92 or 92, 93, Jordan broke the NBA record for three or five in the playoffs for threes and a half. And now it will be like scoffed yeah, at. Yeah, now it's like, <laughs> it's like double that or whatever. And I don't hate threes. I don't hate do people. that. Just don't do that. I don't hate threes. Do I hate people. Matter of fact, we need, we need your opinion on yeah. this since you the younger generation. Matter of fact, that's perfect. It's not perfect. It is perfect. He only knows one basketball. <sighs> He doesn't no, know what no, we talk no, about. You've no, heard him no. talk about that. 
right yeah, the style so, of the game right so you don't like the style of the does game. it no. bother you the way they play at all not at all okay not at this all. is this is group of, this is it's a different opinion you can't all. only but like the opinions of the older guys i've watched block post videos of himself playing basketball every single one's threes i bet you rudo would say the same thing. every single one threes i bet you rudo would say no, the same wouldn't. thing he would yeah rudo's like younger than him fam the I mean, point is a different era you yeah. call Rudo a child. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he is. He a kid with a kid. But but see, we watched the All Star game. Steph Curry was that's what out I'm saying. there, and that's and that's a pure representation of of see, watching somebody shoot the ball is more entertaining than watching somebody. No no no, no no no. Watching somebody shoot it and make it is more entertaining. No, I think yeah. I think it's both. Because yeah. who else was shooting? Dame was shooting too. Was shooting it. They were shooting from crazy. half court in the All Star game. Yeah. It's both. Fam, they were like this. I don't have a problem. All them dudes go to the rim. No. Curry and, can and, dunk. And I listed, dunk on people. I listed different. I don't mind watching Curry, um, Curry, Kyrie, Dame, Stop. Clay. Stop it. There are certain people. I don't. They can shoot from the others. I don't give. I don't care. They've earned that right to do it. I don't need to see Zach Levine. Now, Zach Levine shooting like thirty nine percent this year from the field. But I don't need to see like Zach Levine think he Curry. My issue is not the three. The issue is, is that they see Curry do it and think, oh shoot, I can do it. My issue is too is that they do it they one don't. game. NBA players, a, a Kelly Oubre, you know, you a Kelly do Oubre, no, no, a Kelly Oubre could get into a basketball game in this game. Oh man, he just oh he makes six. Yeah. He thinks next game, oh, make six again, and he misses six. <laughs> and goes you know what? Well. I just that one, and then he shoots eight more. I'm like, fam, that's not you. Curry can do that. If Curry goes up to miss ten in a row, <laughs> Curry, don't worry about it. Shake it off. Next week, <laughs> shoot twenty five. You okay? No. With it? So what? When? How do you think Embiid on. is so good? Embiid is destroying the league because he he's can doing. Shoot, though. He can shoot, but he knows his limits too. Embiid is the best player might be in basketball right now. Him and James Harden no, might be the two no, best players in basketball. Jokic is, but that's a different story. Better than Embiid? No, 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 no. no. Yes. He, just, oh, he, is. No. he fell off. No, he fell off. No. He, fell he off. started off. He started, off, started off. Started off, but he's kind of. Yeah. Damn, Jokic is averaging 10 assists a game. I know. I know that. I think Embiid. As a center. Like, like, like 30. A, 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 like a, a, Embiid is averaging 30. So, so Jokic. Or something. I mean, shoot. Now, Embiid, uh, now, if you're saying his numbers change in like the last two, three weeks. It has. Like went like way down. Not then that's a different story. And but. if I'm not mistaken, I think Embiid is like almost like 50, 40, 90 this year. Something like that. Relax. Let me look it up. Relax. That's a Steve Nash only category. Easy. He's in there. He's he's going crazy. Relax. I seen something. It up. They said that, um, like, if they was comparing his stats to Steph's stats the year he got the unanimous right. MVP, and it's like he should be up. unanimous. Jokic twenty seven, eleven, and nine. That, that a is, center. That's, that's good. That is tough. That's good. A center. That's, that's good. good. And he's shooting. And you know I love Jokic. Hold on, do that. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. He, and, and he's he, shooting, but he has a sixty five point two percent true shooting percentage at. Uh, let's see, hold on. What's at twenty nine point two percent usage? What? But he's, okay, he's also now, from another country and he can shoot threes. Don't do that. Don't do that. And okay. it's Jokic. But they say Embiid is from a different country too. You freak. Yeah, he's from. <laughs> nah, he's from. Uh, yes, he I is. mean, yes, he is. But he's not from like you know. He ain't from like Cold War countries. Man, so. Don't do that. He ain't from the USSR. Embiid is averaging <laughs> a third of the assists and the same rebounds as Jokic. So don't look at me like that. No, I mean, what's his point though? Thirty point one. Thirty and Jokic is twenty seven. It's only a one extra shot per game. Hey man, let me tell you something. Don't do that. How many threes a game does Jokic shoot? Probably about six, maybe. He probably shoot more. I than don't know. Him, yeah, he shoots more than B. But the reason why everybody's having a hard time with Embiid is because he's doing stuff that won't nobody else do. Give me the ball down mm-hmm. here, and I'm just gonna go score. I don't have to watch all of you shoot threes. Oh, and Giannis is better than both of them. But to be clear, <laughs> this year, fam, statistic wise, he is. The last two months, Giannis, I, he's on my fantasy team yeah, as well. Yeah. The last two months. I would look up a fantasy. Like in the beginning of the season, he was like 23. He won all star MVP. He went 16 rebounds. for 16. <laughs> Damn, I'm looking yeah, recently 38 and 16. Like he's balling. Nightly basis. He's balling. The team is a little. Oh, yeah, the team but sucks. We know the story with Giannis. Bro. Compared same to where they were. Thing. It's going to be the same thing every time. No, no, no. Do that. People do that. That's the same see, argument that Josh Shaq. makes. No, he's see, don't do that. Balls, see, this is. see. Josh literally. likes to talk about that, how he's not clutch or whatever. Like, fam, the Bucks blow everyone out. He's not no, playing it's, in the it's fourth not, quarter. He's talking about the same moves. It might be different this year. He's talking about the same moves to score. Yeah, like, and then when you get in the playoffs and you can hone in on that for seven games. 
I mean, he's just... Look, that's good coaching that, to do that, but let me tell you something. People try to say the same thing in our era about Shaq. All he does is dunk. The object is to put the ball in the hole, and then you go run back to the other play in defense. But like, see, you oh, who cares? You can game plan against Shaq, though. You can game plan against Giannis in the playoffs. We've seen it. I mean, we did uh, it this year. Uh, We saw it this year. You can't game plan against the fast break in the NBA unless you right. just, when you shoot, tell all five dudes to run back down the floor and not off as a rebound at all. Because if Giannis gets in transition, you're not stopping him. It's, no. a, it's a guaranteed bucket or he's well, going yeah. to the free throw line. But in the half court, so, if yes. they kept him at the free Defense throw line, is different he didn't know than what the to do. Yeah. Defense is, is different than the NBA. Uh, yes, yeah. that's fine. Uh, I, that's fine. But this argument that he's not clutch because he doesn't like – I sent stats that showed – he had like the third most points per shot or whatever the number I sent in the fourth quarter in the NBA. That argument is, and then it was like, it I is just, a little. You can't make an argument without statistics to back it up. Valid? Like that's the thing. Have you no. watched the Bucks play and it comes down to the fourth quarter and then like he's like, it's not a lot of game. Not, the Buck has to come. The Bucks have to come down. Yeah, like the last the two years quarter. they've killed everyone, yeah, so he's yeah. not even playing. Now the this, year, this year is different. So this year know. he has had like probably. Two, three, four moments of like, okay, we need something, and he failed every yeah, single time. Every turned, single time. No, no, I remember the one game he where missed he missed both free throws. He missed both free throws. Is that what it was? Yeah, I thought he fouled so, like the guy at the end of the game or something. Didn't he? Nah, he missed both free throws with that one. I think against Utah, he missed the shot at the end. I think. Oh no, they lost because the other team banked the three in, and then everyone blamed Giannis for losing, and then they lost by one. Like, fam, the other team banked a three. This was Maybe. earlier in the season. Maybe that was Utah. Yeah. It was early, early on in the season. Oh. And someone banked the three, and then they were, oh, it was Boston. Uh, yeah, but he missed the two free throws to tie it up. He missed both. And they no, were like, what? No, they the? were up two or no, no, not in overtime, in regulation or whatever. Whatever something happened. I think in overtime he missed the free throws, but in the regulation he they the baked the three thing. to tie the yeah, game yeah, or yeah. whatever. Like, man, but they didn't blame him for that. It was the free throws at halftime. Whatever I mean, overtime. I understand that, but if the bank three doesn't go in, which is what, a ten percent chance? Yeah. They win and he's the he's the reason. Yes, but you put the star on the free throw line and you gotta make one, he missed both. It's in overtime. He doesn't need to make it if the bank th- I'm talking about the like chances of winning. I yes. No, no, no. It should have never got there. Exactly. But since we're here, and if he doesn't get there, then he's you're the my hero. star. You got to shoot. Should have never got there. Um, Embiid is yes, uh, he's out of control. But to me, joke it, you fam, you're a center. You ever almost a triple double, nine assists. He's he's the MVP number one in the column to me this year. No, 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 no. Yeah, we could. I mean, we could the, talk about the 76ers it. 76ers have the second best record in basketball. I understand Denver's not having a great season uh, record season. I get it. That's fine. I'm not making that argument. Denver up after this year, probably. Well, they, I mean, I they obviously lost to uh, OG Man Man who went to Detroit, and, like Jamal and he, Jamal Murray. Yeah, they didn't think he was that good. Yeah, no, Murray went down because in the playoffs last year, balling. I know. I know. See, there's certain cats that can't play in front of audiences. Yeah. You can't play in front uh, of audiences. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there was a lot of people yeah. balling in the bubble. I'm going to need you to chill out. Yeah, where did they? He hurt. No, yeah, he has a – he well, because he was on my fantasy team too, so he had like a stress fracture in his foot or something, so he's been out from the very beginning of the season. He played like one or two games. And, and that was a fluke. I am not a TJ Warren fan. There's yeah. no way. He leaves the Suns. I mean, he only averaged 19. Like, like he wasn't – <laughs> He took too many shots was when it, he was yeah, here with the Suns. But over there in Indiana, he had other guys who shot more. He had wasn't man, yeah, but the he man didn't that have just that got here. Trigger. He had Booker. Like he didn't really have that here. So mm-hmm. I didn't mind somebody else trying to be the number two option. He just couldn't make the shot. He goes to Indiana and a bubble. Literally with Michael Jordan numbers play. I was like, man, he's averaging with like 39 points a game or something like that at one point. Oh. I was like, one one playoff game he had like 50. That. He had like 50 or 55 or something. I was like, okay, TJ Warren's balling. All right. And then he wouldn't stop balling. I was like, all right, Pacers won a championship. They didn't, but <laughs> right. they got swept by the Tracers. That's another player who's balling. Another team. Like, bonus. He, in fact, he's an all star. Yes, ball. He was an all star, but he wasn't even voted in or put in by the coaches. He was a reserve for mm-hmm. KD got hurt. I mean, because they only took 12 spots. It should You're be right. 15. Um, That's the Booker argument. Is like now Bradley Beal is number one scorer in the league, but I have a hard time putting the wackest. Well, it's All Star game. It's not the MVP. Right. It's different, of course. And I hate the way Bradley Beal dresses on the court. Like, why are you look like a child? Boy, shorts too little, socks too high, shoes too black, headband too Ew. weird. Got them weird braids down. Oh, yeah. Wait for the Sally cell. <laughs> well, just Sally. wait. Wait for the current <laughs> high school freshman, or I mean college freshman, to come in. I the saw NBA one cover slam. Just wait until that class comes to the NBA. Then you think you've seen some short shorts now? Just wait. Oh. Oh, Lamelo. What about it? You did not think that he was going to be what he is now. Uh, he didn't. No, you didn't. know what it is? No, he I don't think I said it. that. He just didn't want it to happen. I don't think I said that. You didn't want it to happen. I think I said I was uncertain, but I said it's. I, 
if I remember correctly, I said his ceiling is high, but it's uncertainty. No. Yeah, I did. You said he was going to be whack and everybody will no, see No, no, no. I think you were just no hating. Wiseman, who, is oh, who I said okay. that about. I think you were just hating. I do no. remember you saying no, that about I said that about Wiseman. Wiseman. I didn't say that about Melo. I, I said Melo's ceiling is high, but we don't know. I think you're a little mad that he good, But though. no, my first, my favorite player in the draft class overall is Edwards, and he still can get there. Mm-hmm. Not there yet. You mm-hmm. saw the dunk, I'm sure, when he went baseline. But it don't matter. He's in Minnesota. LaMelo is like... Head yeah, he's o- better o- over the whole yeah. class, right? Woo. Yeah, he's better. And then, Falling. and then the one who should be the best big man in the class isn't even getting playing time because Atlanta had no business picking him in the first place. Uh, o- 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 Congo. Congo. Yeah, they you know, signed like, man from Houston, yeah. and then they still have Collins. There's some some, like saw, someone sent me they're they're talking about trading Collins. Why? Collins is good. Yeah. They're trying you to trade shouldn't him. have picked Okongwu. You should have either traded it or picked a wing to help Trey. Mm-hmm. The Atlanta Falcons were my seen. surprise team this year, and they started well, out well, hot. Hunter's they out, did. so he's been out for like a month. So they're fired the, the team coach last good. week. The team is good. I thought when, Minnesota was going to be good this year. Fam. Reason. You know what? I feel like that area. Hunter is <laughs> another person like Shea, who do we need to talk about, about the next step. He yes. was averaging like 22, 23 a game for that three, DeAndre four weeks right? yeah, yeah, stretch yeah. when he was healthy. He had a lot of moments for the the Atlanta games I've watched. And then once he went out, then Reddish started playing well. Mm. Like not. That's the problem. With, twenty five. Yeah, but see, that's the problem with Atlanta. Eighteen. That's good. None of them play. They don't. None of them play well at the exact same time. None of them. Right. It's either like one is balling. I look at that's a the college numbers. Set I'm up like, stupid. God dang. I look at trade numbers. Like God. Yeah. Dang. Well, he's gonna do it. Yeah, Reddish what. numbers. Like God. No, he's been. He started off hot. Ooh, he been. Wack Who Trey Young? Yeah. Nah. Why well, he didn't make an All Star game? And he should have. Yeah. He was a balling. Now. Not even a reserve, 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 reserve. My boy hiding it, uh, on the pod. Super Hawks fan. Pissed. Oh, I like the roster. Pissed about Trey Young night. Like, I hate man. the fact you that they signed mad. Houston man and then yeah. picked Okongwu. I wish Okongwu would have gone to. I mean, who needs a big man? What team needs a big the man? Warriors did at the Warriors. time. Warriors. Well, I wanted them to pick him too because um, I think Wiseman stinks. But that's a different conversation for a different. Day. I think Wiseman's gonna sting more because of pressure. Y'all think he's bad? Oh, I don't think he's bad, Wiseman. but like he was never he, he he's being he should have never been rated that high in the first. Like place. that's the problem. Like yeah, he's not he's not bad, but he's being it treated was a, like he should be great now. And a, I don't think he has that personality yeah. yet. Like, it was a yeah. bad draft class, and because the people who do the high school ratings had him number one, because Lamelo wasn't really in the class because he went and right. played overseas and whatever else. So they had Wiseman number one, and I think it just put unfair expectations on him. And I'm not, I don't. I at one point, I think I t- like texted Greg, like I hope he fails or something. I no, felt bad did. about that. You did. I felt bad I about that. Fails. I just wanted to be right because yeah, I just right. wanted to be right. Nah, because he's but, been arguing with the homie Josh a lot, and he just wants to be right. Against but I don't him. think no in yeah, general. Josh said he's going to average sixteen something and something to you. Who is that? Lost your mind, the homie Josh, the Swagzilla. Oh no, no. Who's going to average 16? He said, uh, Josh, the homie, this, he's, from, he's from Bay Area. He said that Wise yeah. was going to average like 16, 10 and something. And mm-hmm. George so, lost his mind. So th- here, here's my sleep. thing. is Early on in the season, <laughs> they were bad. I think they started 0-4. Yeah, yeah, and then they were, yeah. now they're back in contention, right? Aren't they in like 8th like, spot or 6th spot like or something? Teeter and yeah, they're somewhere 7-8. Like yeah. So yeah. if the team is a playoff team and he's playing well, I'll give him all the respect in the world. But if you're on, like, I remember the first game of the season, they got washed yeah. by somebody by, like, 40. Yeah, and Josh, like, messaged to the thread, like, was it Brooke? Wiseman had, like, 16-9, and nine, yeah, I told you. Yeah. He scored 12 in the fourth quarter when the game was already <laughs> yeah, a 30-point yeah. game. Like, that it doesn't matter. Game. I don't need yeah. to see numbers when the game's over. Mm-hmm. I need to see you're a playoff team and he's playing well. So, Draymond, Draymond be on his back too much. He probably I, no, yeah. he's not. He, he doesn't have the talent that people think he has. Draymond. He could if he doesn't have the pressure of being on the Warriors. The nah, Warriors need a comeback nah. season. I don't. We'll people see. probably think he's like an Embiid or a Chris Bosh or something like that. He's not the KG that level. Tag on him though. I yeah, mean, he's be seeing people throw that around. Woo-hoo. Oh, Wiseman. Oh, they smoking yeah, sticks He was now. never that athletic. Maybe, see, that's no the thing. Way. It's like people Maybe see the like no clip, the highlight clips no of way, like man. high school or Memphis or whatever when he's blocking like five foot no, eight white kids. No, no, no. Yeah. Fam. You think he's better than um, – <laughs> what's the uh, dude who came from here? Um, you think he's better than Bagley? Which one? The younger brother is better than the older uh, brother. The older brother's kind of a disappointment. That's what I was saying. The younger brother is underrated. The one that's at ASU, even though he's always hurt, mm-hmm. he's underrated. The older one's overrated. <laughs> I remember I people calling him anymore. like KG when he was uh, in high school. Exactly. But he, he was he, he, was, bald, he yeah. was a force. But see, school. here's the thing: you you can look like that and like high school, and even at Duke, he looked like that. But you can also tell like 
it doesn't add up. Like there's a something a about a lot of those stuff. guys yeah, of that course. like when they get to like Jalen Brown, you watch him in college, you would be like, fam, how is he going to be any good in the NBA? Mm. He's shooting like 45 percent at the rim at in his one year at Cal. But then you look at like he's long, athletic. Guys like that always somehow learn how to shoot when they get to the NBA because they can't shoot when they play in college. And then you realize the game is like more spread out in the NBA. There's more room to operate. Driving lanes open up. <laughs> yeah. Driving kick. College game is completely different. So a Jalen Brown, it makes total sense to me that he went to that level and a big man would go down a level. See, the, the issue is, and I mean, we'll move on in a second, but like, it's like I was watching the Inside the NBA documentary thing. Oh, so whatever, it's phenomenal. It's done so good. Mm-hmm. And Kenny Smith said that he didn't think he was in the NBA until he got to the Rockets. He was on the Kings for six years before he went to the Rockets. He was like, it never felt like he said, I've, I've played for better teams, bigger crowds, more whatever. Yeah, North Carolina. A right? lot of these players, they get put in these whack situations mm-hmm. and it ruins them. Like, I'm sorry, it ruins these yes. players. Edwards, Edwards has the yeah, talent, but, I think but lot, he is in a lot Minnesota. Of guys are whack, yeah, but no Wiggins. Let me tell you something. Wiggins may not have been as good as everybody thought he was going to be, but going to Minnesota was not good for him no. at all. Cat, I agree with that, Cat, but I don't think he would have been Cat a superstar in Minnesota. Cat in Minnesota, he has his moments here and there, but Cat is very yeah. underwhelming. He should be doing exactly what Embiid is doing. Facts. Nothing would have that. Uh, Russell, that's on the on Minnesota, he started out at where? What do you think? He started out yeah, in but he, L.A. No, Nets. No, L.A. Yeah. And then he went to the he Nets. Had to, he had and then he went to the Nets Young. to the Timberwolves. Yep, he yeah. started out on the Oh, uh, sorry. Yep. And it ruined, play, depending on where you start, it will ruin No, no, he, you. he was overrated from the very beginning. He wasn't Ooh. destined. No, he, he wasn't. Russell? He I don't was know. not. I don't you know, know what? Fine. He was, he was not o- destined. Fine. To... You know what? He was overrated at first, but when we went to New Jersey, he was yeah. balling. His and game. And then he comes he back to else. Trash now. His game from the very beginning should have been a facilitator, like a Mike Conley. Like, now I now bad. Mike Conley's more of a shooter. Yeah. But his game should have been like, like a LaMelo, mm-hmm. even. His passing at Ohio State and in high school was phenomenal, crazy, but then he tried crazy. to become like some crazy score. Try to become a score. Yeah. You know? From rare dead stock to the latest release, you can find the exact sneaker you're looking for on eBay. As the original sneaker marketplace, eBay is the place to go to cop the pair you've been eyeing. In partnership with eBay, Armchair Media will be raffling off four custom made sneakers. Each purchase you make before March 31 through eBay.com slash sneakers will enter you into the drawing for a one of one pair of Air Force One lows. Just send a screenshot of your purchase to at Armchair Media on Twitter or Instagram. That's A R M C H A I R M E D I A, at Armchair Media. Whether rare, dead stock, or the latest release, find the exact shoe you're looking for on eBay. With eBay's authenticity guarantee, your sneakers are meticulously inspected by independent professional authenticators. A team of experienced sneaker authenticators verify the box, logo, stitching, and dozens of other inspection points. Each sneaker also receives an authenticity guarantee tag that includes a digital stamp of authenticity and is customized with, customized with the sneaker's details. Authenticity Guarantee also protects sellers with a verified return process. It's free, F-R-E-E, to sell sneakers of $100 or more on eBay. Mm. And thanks to eBay's Authenticity Guarantee, verified returns make the whole transaction worry-free. With other sites taking as much as 25%, you're going to have a lot of money left, extra money, excuse me, left for, Greg? More sneakers. More sneakers. Bang, bang, bang. Uh, All-Star game stuff real quick. I remember I had tweeted out that somebody had said Galaxy Phones was the greatest All-Star sneaker of all time. Okay. Shouldn't be questioned. You didn't say that, but (laughs) you said maybe not, but it's the most important or the biggest. It definitely had the biggest lineup. It's it's, it's the biggest, like. The most impactful. Yeah. It's the most impactful. You know. People lined up here for a week. Like. A well, full locker so, was like, y'all can go okay. home, take a shower, and come back into so, the line. So you know, let's do this. So listener suggestion real quick. We actually had two bypass, but li- and we'll throw it in this. So Dave, David Blackman again, I just Dave on Twitter, he said, why is there a need to tie resale culture to sneaker culture? And Yeah, because other people brought it up. I don't know if you saw the comments on YouTube, people who said they've worked in retail. Like, you got to go read that comment. People who said they've worked in retail stores, and they can tell you when they're the people who line up who are resellers are not sneakerheads. You got to go read that comment. It's look and, and it's old. But, grandma's yeah, but they're talking about 
Fam, I'm talking about like selling like Funko Pops and like toys right. and all everything. But see, that was resellers the, have existed see, forever. No, no, no. See, here's the thing. That's what the point I wanted to make too is that reselling isn't wasn't created in sneakers. That's not the point. What sneakers did was show that resellers are willing to do anything for mm -hmm. them. For I example, think that was already like no, that. no, no. Yeah. See, we wouldn't know. We wouldn't know. Read that thing on YouTube. I'm telling we'll you. It was a look. Now, granted, but, we're taking the guy at his word, but he said I worked in retail and he listed all the like toys out that people used to line up for. Yeah, you know, you're right. But like line up, you know what I told somebody? I said, you know how I want to interview? I want to interview the person, the OG camper. Who was the very first yeah. camper that thought I'm gonna stay the night somewhere because I need this <laughs> sneaker more? That it wasn't a sneaker. <laughs> I bet you it wasn't a sneaker. Well, no, no, no. The first overnight camper, I bet you, was something I, I wanna, other than sneakers. I don't know. I bet That's it was. Tough. I don't think so because I feel like sneaker culture is what, what I, like I said, I saw sneaker resellers willing to do anything to resell a sneaker. I wouldn't know about uh, the toys. I wouldn't know about mm -hmm. the stuff back yeah, in the I day. I wouldn't that. know. But like Galaxy Foams. Now, we had campouts before. No, no. So here's – hold on. Hold on. What do you call a campout? What's a campout? Oh, you have to have a camp chair or, or a chair. tent. Your camping is on either a, like an overnight thing or a like four so a.m. Would, would you call us? Going, you can't go like you can't go at seven a.m. for an eleven or ten a.m. Right. opening. That's but would you say Eight me hours. and you? Just waiting. That's but me and you, yeah. me and you going at ten o'clock at night. Yeah, that's, that's camp out. That's, mm -hmm. that's horrendous. Is what that is. <laughs> I can't imagine doing that. Now for green KDs, like the first one. I was that one was different. Oh, what some, Yeah, for some reason I thought that was different. But yellow phones, what are we doing? <laughs> yeah, I don't know what we're doing for yellow phones. I camped out for yellow phones. Like longer than that, like whoa, way longer than that. Like probably about like 12, 13 hours. Who was out there about that? Because it started oh, over yeah. to like what, 10, yeah, 11? 11. And we got out there about nine o'clock, oh, okay, 10. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But that was when yeah. phones was hot then. I know. But like that's what I Even told somebody. Still, if you sell it for four hundred, phones are already two twenty, two forty. <laughs> like we were not making now. KD Weatherman's different. Ninety five dollars mm -hmm. shoe, probably sold it for four fifty. But had we held a little bit longer, could have sold it for a thousand Way more, two thousand, fifteen hundred, whatever. That's different. I couldn't fit a nine and a half in that KD model, and I probably wouldn't have kept it even if I had a ten because that was at the height of like when stuff became so special. Like I remember when the scam was. I remember me and Georgia both got scammed on KDs. Like not scammed. Yeah. But I got like, my money back from PayPal, but, but yeah. like somebody would message and say, like we would have a sneaker posted for like two hundred, and somebody would message and say, "I'll give you two fifty. I'm like, "Why? Like why?" <laughs> like, and they were banking, and we'd be like, "Really?" And 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 fall for that. Man. But like I was, and and that was my whole point is that like I would love to talk to the very first person who said this sneaker is so hot that I'm gonna come out here not the morning of, like you said. Wait, wait, before. you talking about somebody that who's person, keeping? And that's a sneakerhead that they're keeping. Well, see, back then it probably was keeping. He's mm -hmm. the OG because that person single handedly changed well, the culture. Well, then forever. you can talk about the pigeon release. Now, I'm sure. See, I don't know. That, I, see, I don't really know besides people getting them and being beat up afterwards or shot. <laughs> like, I don't know how long they got out there. I don't know that Yeezy Twos at Beverly Hills Center. We knew people got out there with like a week, uh, Red Octobers, about a week. Five days? Well, they did it. I mean, when they came out here, they were. That was when that one man almost got shot. You heard that story. Now yeah, they weren't out there. They that weren't long, that long, though. Shot out, out of here at, oh, at yeah. High Point. Yeah, Catch somebody pulled a gun out at High Point. Release. Is, wait, something is that, about like a uh, spot in line. That's not when Damn. Homeboy said that he talked the guy down. I think so. Oh my god, <laughs> yo. Well, because what <laughs> he what he said was like what he said. I think the story goes. <laughs> Somebody this is a military vet. Somebody was said. waiting. Oh, that's what you're talking about. All right, I thought you're talking about the other man. But that Cam cameraman. I don't know who that is. Well, we'll talk about it later. But that's who. Gonna... But that's the same story, right? I think so. So like, but I think that what it was is someone went to wait mm -hmm. just to hold a spot. Like A is holding a spot for B. They're not trying to get two. They're just right. like gonna swap out. Yeah. And somebody had a problem with that. I think that it was, was how it started. Something right? Like that. Mm -hmm. It had so to do the with the person line. came and then. Thought they were just gonna jump in. Oh yeah, yeah, behind. yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh. And he's like, "Nah, man, he just holding my spot, and he's not gonna buy one. I'm gonna just gonna be number two or whatever, yeah. or number one." I think it started from that. And then like the yeah. guy pulled a burner out or yeah. something. Now I don't know if the story is true, but this yeah. cat we used yeah. to know said that he was like, you know, hey young brother, like, I, <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> like us a Black Panther type, like, like don't, brother, don't do it, brother, don't do it, brother, we out here. Oh, and it said the man was like, said the man had a burner like this too. Like, you know what? 
Oh, you right. Oh, the <laughs> and they was like this, though, like pieced it up, a hug. Everybody and like, yo, clapping. Say, yo, take my number down, though. We could talk. <laughs> yo, we could chop it up. Yo, one of the wackest stories ever. I was like, man, shut up. I was like, dude, you should be doing the most lying ever. That was actual yeah. geek. Um, but I will say Galaxy Foams was... And when you really think about All Star sneakers, you're only gonna pick something out of that pack, right? I will say, and somebody asked me what did I think the most overrated, it's not the best most shoe, overrated. but it's the most impactful release. Yeah. <sighs> Back then, you could argue the phone was the best shoe. It wasn't the best shoe to us because we preferred. It's the, the one everyone phone. wanted because it sold for fifteen, fourteen hundred bucks or whatever. But it's not the best <sighs> shoe of all All Star releases. No, I don't know what made the determination that that shoe was gonna sell it. Because remember, I bought it off eBay from a guy at the DC Maryland Foot Locker. He was like, mm -hmm. gonna back door, and I bought it for four eighty or something. Yeah. And I was like, got mine on lock. Jordan knew I couldn't wait for him. Yeah. And then like two, three days. What? Well, when people started camping. I got a refund back. I was like, yo, fam, what's up with this? Yo, fam, yo, these joints go for a lot. I was like, man, come on, man. Mm -hmm. But I don't know what it was about that that made that happen because we all knew they were coming out. Like, we already yeah. knew that the pack was coming out, but it didn't seem like it was such a care. That was the very first time in the at Nike Scottsdale where we stood in a, a pool of people with a raffle ticket Yeah, like but they this. didn't even have the phone posit. They just had all the other ones. Oh, they had the... Big Bang. Kobe. I don't even think they had that. Or, they maybe, they, or the maybe they did. They had the Big yeah, Bang they and the Kobe. The KD, they didn't have the KD one. Yeah, they Nobody had, had Kobe the KD, Lamar. right? Mm -hmm. House of Hoops? Uh, House of Hoops did. Oh, okay. But, and then we found out after that they did, because we heard, like, if you're first in line, you can get one of each one. So we're like, we're not going to oh, go. Oh, that's right. And then we found out after they changed it where you just get one shoe, but you can get back in line. So if we would have showed up at release. Right. We would have got one We would have been, like, say, like, 40th in line. Or something, you know, make yeah, a number up. Yeah. But we would have been ahead of the people going back in the line. Right. And some people got the whole pack. So we would have definitely yeah, got we well, definitely at least did. one of something. Yeah. But it was so. And I wanted the KD to wear. Like, that was what I got yeah, scammed yeah, on on eBay. Did. And then, like, what happened was I paid and the dude shipped the box. So there was a shipping number and the box, like, went to New York. Oh, like, I don't live in New York. <laughs> shipped it to his home. So it was, like, easy yeah. for PayPal to, you know, it was like a one-day review of the thing and they just give me my money back. Yeah, so. see, like, that was the only one that we really wanted to wear. I didn't want Big Bangs at the time to wear. I liked the LeBrons. I but, like, LeBrons. I didn't at the time. But then, like, once, like, I realized I couldn't get them, I was dying for them. The phone was already a loss. We were so discouraged at the fact because this is back when, like, we were in real communication with people like in Facebook groups and stuff mm -hmm. like that. So once we heard that like somebody was already at Nike, I mean, sorry, at House of Hoops sitting in line and it was like, what was it, like um, a Tuesday? And then they come out till Saturday. We was like, oh yeah, no. We were like, no. Mm -hmm. Like that was when like kids were skipping school. That was the whole thing. It was like, yo, these yeah. cats aren't even skipping school. They're not school. going to work. Like, <laughs> yeah, but see, a lot of people don't remember stuff like that. Like, I remember like when Concords had retro the first time. And we went to school in the morning in high school, and then we like, I'm not going to the next two periods. I went to go get them. Mm -hmm. and, I, and a group of people there was like, it was like 14. The only issue with like 14 people there is that like, how many of this 14 is wearing a nine and a half? That was my issue. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, that's what that stupid sneaker show top touched on or whatever, like oh, the uh, first episode. Netflix, whatever. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but look. He walking up to the front like, you a eight, you a nine, you a seven. You're like trying to calculate. Oh, we used to do that though. We used to, oh, <laughs> but don't do that. We used to do that. But was a show based in 2011? No, it was oh, yeah, based yeah. now. I mean, like. We used to be like this, like, yo, which were you, you 10, 10, 13? <laughs> yeah. We, we did that at Nike. Hype. And we did that at Nike Scottsdale when we were like 13. 12, 13 in line, and there was like 300 pairs. Like, why are we asking? Like, because, like, we got two. We were so in a panic. Plus, back then, we weren't fully trusted with everybody. House of Hoops had one of the worst sneaker back doors in the history. Oh, he, he might well, be just the, their staff in general. So, like, their yeah. staff was trash. So, They're like, liars. we wouldn't have known when, when they got Weatherman's. They were trying to trick us to not come. He was like, nah, I don't come. It's one thing if you do, if you say, I don't know, and you really don't know, but don't lie, like yeah. make up a story. He I mean, told me, he said, look, Nike Scottsdale is secretly getting them. Trust me. I called them right there in front of them. They were like, man, we ain't got nothing. And then like he saw us in line getting them. He drove up and saw us in line and was like, like shucks, the employee and left. Uh, yeah, most like overrated. Scottsdale Mall at that, if you're in the parking garage on that bottom floor. And the the second Damn. level the We're second like, level you can look down and see the people down there. Yeah, Do you want to talk about closest to Nordstrom? Is Nordstrom on that side? It's kind of, but it was like that weird little space in between there because you had to go in yeah, and go the up side the escalators entrance. up the thing. But we started upstairs where Tiffany is at. You know where Tiffany's yeah, store somewhere is. Over there. That's on like 
Yeah, that's it's, like that second floor. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's yeah. like a weirdest bubble. We so started pulled, on the roof. Yeah, we were in the wrong spot. And they were like, oh, they're waiting downstairs. Well, it was two. It was two camp out lines. They yeah. started one downstairs. Then we were in one upstairs. Like one or two other people with us upstairs, though. And then like somebody was like, oh, they downstairs. And we this crazy yeah, debate. Like, do down. we? Do we? Do we not? <laughs> do we not? Like, which one is it? Because yeah, if you left, that was it. Just and it was like, but we went down there and we got a pair. But like, they had, they only sold, what, 12? And they probably had about. No, nah, it was more than that. I think they had, 22? Eight, they had 18 or something like that. They and, only and sold we were like, whatever. we were like 13, 14, right. 14, 15 in line, something like that. What was whack was like when you would go buy them, and like they were mad. They were mad. Like maybe I get cake nine and a half. <laughs> yeah, no, right, yeah. I remember one dude told George, "We ain't got no twelves. And George was like, "Man, you got twelve right there." He was like, "I remember the calf force. Was it calf force? <laughs> nah, that and was the sheep. man. Calf force Thunders. was the man who came out. We were first in line. And he was like, "Oh uh, yeah, we don't got this, 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 or this." Oh, that's <laughs> right. We were first and second in line because, and, and we like it wasn't even like. It like, no we got there early at six or nothing. seven, but we didn't camp. Right. Because yeah. people didn't but know we about first. it. Like, you just walk in the mall and sit. Because the mall opens at six in the summer because people will go in there and, like, walk around mm-hmm. loops in the mall. And so we just put the camp chairs right in front of Sheik. And the man came in. He was like, yeah, we ain't got, like, 13, 12, <laughs> 8, 7, 9. We were like, man, All employees. And he was like, he was like, when y'all go outside, can y'all tell them that? I was uh-uh. like, now, like, me now? Uh-huh. This is probably like when did Cat Fours come out? Eight years ago or something? Correct. So, Underrated. so I actually, they are I actually rated. told people, but but if I did that now, I wouldn't say nothing. I'd be like, man, it's your fault. You do it, or I'm not yeah. saying nothing. They could get mad at you. Gosh, man. What a but God. I just was like, he said it ain't like none of them sizes. So if y'all want to get on his back, like, yo, get him. Remember, a homeboy was in a wheelchair. And he was like, I need an eight. I was like, does it really matter? Come <laughs> <laughs> like, here, eight, nine, ten, eleven. You can wear anything you want. Like, uh, what's the? Oh, someone told me to ask. Greg's a bad person. As ask as you what's know. the most? <laughs> fam, they was getting arrested for prescription pads, and that was the craziest release ever. <laughs> someone told me to ask, what's the most overrated All Star release? Overrated? Probably Sneaker. last year. Oh, what was last year? Uh, oh, don't do that. Pink Joe Good. Joe Fresh Good. Well, hold on. Do you like I'm not just talking about yeah. that shoe specifically. The whole thing. No, 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 no. The whole week. Fam, Yeezy trucks driving on the street. Nah, Cats giving their shoes out. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. No, you that love was, you love Kanye, so don't start with me. That but was, that, that, no, no. That was, that was not a fight. No. Oh, don't come on. You do that. Red threes? I think. Fear of God's no. dropped too that 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 weekend. Fear of God, yeah. yellows, I think. No, that was what the man traded in for a Yeezy. Oh, then what? No, Fear those God, no, the, those had already came out. The, no, no, the uh, strings. All right, so it, they were all black. Oh, but they had the, the the toe box question, yeah, yeah, toe yeah. box yeah. thing, whatever. Okay. Fam, that was had Yeezy, yeah, Quantum's, Fear of God, Barium's. No, but Quantum's didn't Off actually White release five. though. Off White Fives. Think. Well, I don't think they were released in one store, or they, they just throw them out of trucks. The Yeezys, uh, the Yeezys. I think they were just throwing them out. Of oh, okay. Time. Now, if you say it is, was it a viral weekend? Fine, but that doesn't mean the shoes are good from the weekend. Off white fives, Off-white the fives. red threes, very underrated three. That red no, three no. is very underrated. The all blue, it doesn't suck, but nah. The all blue high just Don Don yeah. one of the best Air Force ones, suck. probably the best release that weekend. <laughs> suck, dude. They suck. I and, mean, and very fresh, good New Balances. Do not do that. I'm not, no, listen. There's better I don't, I don't like them, but you, thank you. That's all you need yes, to say. Okay. If you make a you list. You never say that, though. Listen, but if you make a list, it's about, like six, it's about six or seven on the list. You said they you, suck. If you make a list of nine, nine twos from last year, it's about six or seven, maybe lower. Uh, ooh. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <Come> around now. <laughs> they fire, though. <laughs> you said the worst they all-star fine, shoes. Huh? I think the most nah. overrated, I think one of the most overrated all-star sneakers is Kobe 6. That one that like Jay, Paul, everybody keep posting. One Kobe out. 6. That yeah. one is wow. You want the real one? Yeah. I don't understand it. I mean, I did they get. release during an all-star game or not? No, they were, there was, somebody said like it might shock drop during the all-star oh. game, but they come out, what, next week? The 15th or something like yeah, that? I think 18th or something, yeah. Something like that. Whack. Most well, overrated, technically, though? technically, this week, this All Star weekend had nothing. Technically, oh, no, so. that's tough. They had Adidas. That doesn't mean anything. Mean. <laughs> they tough. they probably had plans of releasing all I those mean, cosmic basketballs, blues, but it, but it wasn't an All Star shoe release. You know what I mean? Like, nah, they had the they released the Dunk All Stars today. Oh, they did. And it was yeah. a draw. <laughs> those those are super whack. <laughs> Yo, why did why did I don't understand? It. Is it the basketball model or is it just lack of creativity? Why no one cares about All Star Weekend sneakers? Like, I, I don't get it. I think I it's basketball what you, model. What do you mean? Like just this well, year? Well, because fam, people go nuts for All Star sneakers. 
Still? Still? Yeah. No, no, no. I mean, like, Nike basketball. I don't mean, like, I know Nike basketball isn't in, but, like, I feel like a LeBron 18 is not the most fired sneaker ever, but a super dope theme, I feel like everybody mm. will want it. That's not the first time it's happened. People complain all the time, like, oh, you didn't want all the other LeBrons, but they come out with this colorway, now you want it. They don't even try Nike basketball anymore. No. Nobody was even wearing the Cosmic Unities in the game. And that's a new basketball sneaker. Not one person was wearing it. The most popular basketball sneaker on the court was... I don't even remember. I couldn't even, even tell like, you a, a sneaker. Did they even do that this year? The most fire sneakers was when they did the BR Kicks show your sneaker. Oh, yeah. Before the game started. They had like athletes come up and show what they were rocking to the game. Yeah. That was the most important sneaker thing of the whole event. One of the most underrated All Star sneakers is D Rose One, the yellow ones. Love D those. D Rose uh, One. Yeah, it was to uh, Simeon who used to play for Chicago basketball. That oh, yellow okay. blue. Uh, oh, high school. High school. Whew, that's a fire. I don't, um, I don't remember enough. But that whole releases. that question that the question that Dave had too with the resale thing. Like I said, reselling didn't originate with sneaker culture, but I feel like sneaker culture showed that. Re sneaker culture resellers. Nah, but me and Dave mad at you about that comparing it to like uh, direct TV and stuff. You just sneaker slap culture resellers show that they are willing to do anything for them. That's facts. Uh, I mean, fam, some of the most controversial videos on the news television are from sneaker releases. I mean, full of resellers, I'll, full of people that want. Listen, them. I mean, we, I'm we, we sure know who the get money boys. I'm, I'm sure there's people who we who like are in the part of the culture who listen to the show or whatever. But all that stuff about like. From New York City about loop boys or loopers or any uh, nerds, uh, all them New York <laughs> reseller cats who get supreme and stuff like that. And like one of them was on, uh, one of them had like a stack of what's that Marcus Jordan one I just released oh, or whatever. Yeah, one of them had a yeah. stack of those nerds. Yeah. I don't have no time for you, man. I don't like those. The uh, trophy rooms, no. Uh, nah, I'm not I, fans of those. The ones. Yeah, the Don ones. Don sent a video and it has like glitter on it, man. Like, yeah. what is this? I just I see it. everyone keeps saying it's glitter, but I can't tell it's glitter. It's, it's just like I'm not out. saying it's actual glitter. It oh, looks like glitter, which glitter. makes it trash. It just, yeah. I don't think the shoe is bad. It just it's, bad. It's, it it's just look like an old Chicago. Well, like, I don't it's, know. It's, 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 it's okay. It's okay to say it sucks. Okay, first of all, I would say it's a Marcus Jordan beard sucks. I hate it. It's okay to I'm say so it annoyed with him. Uh, what else was there? I think that's it. Oh, well, we could talk about the Nike CEO thing real quick. I mean, pretty much nothing else. Oh, but yeah. you saw they said that they're going to double down the efforts to fight bots they're or lying. whatever. No, uh, they're lying. <laughs> <laughs> they are blatantly lying. Well, they said, like, yeah, they did find out that the kid was using Nike discount, which we all knew, using yeah. Nike discount for his resale stuff. <laughs> and they said they're doubling down. They said they've been working on bot technology, bot fighting technology for years, but now they they realize they got to double down on the efforts. And I was like, okay. <laughs> hey, don't be insulting to us. Yeah. Like, look, I, I. Is there even things to stop that? I, I, I can't. I mean. Oh, yeah, they could. If they, they if they did what if they did what now they would have to design something like Shopify has, but if they did something like you know how um, Union and all these places are asking like what's the color oh, yeah, in orange like or whatever, but okay. if you could do a question whatever the bots can't solve that, especially if there's another question on the back end that the humans don't have to deal with. Mm -hmm. But I think, I mean, without knowing all the ins and outs of sneakers, I think the way sneakers is designed is fine. I mean, because I don't think there's much difference between that and Shopify with the bot protection. Like the reason why a lot of people checked out unions is because they made a bazillion pairs and had them on their yeah. website. You know what I mean? Like Nike's not, Nike's not making a bazillion pairs of certain things, regardless if they have bot protection or sneakers or draw or whatever. Right. You know what I mean? Like it just, it is what it is. I mean, they can make the most bot protection they want. It just, it still won't matter. I think it's better than, <laughs> it's so I think it's better than what a lot of stores, I think sneakers is better than what a lot of stores do because fam, you just put your bid in and you know, within one minute or two, five minutes or whatever, if you can move on with your day, you know what I mean? There's yeah. not no like trying all day long. Do and, you be mad when you lose on sneakers? I don't try. Oh, okay. Good for you. Bro. I don't try. Block is my guy. I don't bro. try. Look, block is a block is block is Look, that this guy. Is, and and um, after we had hooped, I was with it was because you know what it is. Him. You just don't bother I, with it. I it's become try, impossible. Bro. I don't try. Like, it's like what am I doing now? I I will say it's I, not a lot of energy to do it. So I mean, Look, this is no lie. What? You haven't ever got anything? Nothing. Oh yeah. Don't even bother. This is no That's lie. all. His purchase on sneakers. 
I mean, how many things have you tried for? Like 100, 200? Oh, yeah. Everything. <laughs> <laughs> But name it. But see, that's why it always you makes me mad because, like, statistically, fam, you got to delete that account and start a new one. Statistically, Probably. it should be impossible to be. I've won oh, three raffles on end before. If you can win a raffle on end, you can get a. I have won three on end. But before I'm just saying, too. like, yeah. Look, think about how many people reply on end. I mean, I just won these in Hong Kong. I would imagine quite a few people. I don't know how many pairs they made, but I would imagine quite a few yeah. people try. Look, like I said, man, it doesn't matter when you think of when you think of the sneakers app. People need to take into consideration households. Okay, mm-hmm. let's take George for instance here. Wait, okay. those really ship from Hong Kong, or are they ship from somewhere yeah, from else? From Hong Kong. So you you looked online. It said from Hong yeah, from my HK. tracking was from <laughs> HK. Like the box from Hong Kong. It came from Hong Kong. Well, I figured they would have them like in a New York warehouse. Um, no, them joints came overseas. It was like yo, it's reached customs. I was like, <laughs> dang. I was like, well, they don't get held up. All right, anyway, what were you saying? <laughs> but no, I was, I was like, see, you got the like with George. See. George has about when when it was something he wants comes out, he got people that would do it for him, and he has three cell phones. Like, mm-hmm. th- like when you think of like, if there are people who are like I still lose sometimes, yeah. But see, but that's the thing. It's like the bot thing is cool. That's one thing. Maybe it will help. Maybe it won't. But like, I I look at per household. If you got your wife, your girlfriend, whoever, you got them trying to mm-hmm. for you. You might got your kid. You might got kids. You might got whomever helping for you. Like it really accounts. doesn't matter. One household could be five accounts. Like so, it's like it's just so much of an impossible task to do. So the Damn, only you got thing the best SB of the year with one account. I mean, you can't. I'm just saying. Like you right. do strike and gold. Listen, yeah. If it only if it took an hour to put your bid in, I can understand. It takes two seconds. So, I mean, that's why I don't yeah, care. Yeah, but no, no. I, I know that, but my whole thing is the emotional aftermath. Oh. Like, being mad lasts yeah. longer than the two seconds it took me to. I'm like, I'm I, so no, sick of this. You know what? Release, anger, actually anger, no no, lo- no loss on sneakers has angered me in years. But, like, you know what lo- What angered me? Supreme Dunks that just came out this week. You tried? Because I, tried. I had them in cart, no. had them in cart, and I have, like, the autofill on the browser, autofilled everything. Everything autofilled. Hit checkout, fam, it didn't put the street address in. I had to go physically type my address uh, because the and I went back to my auto filler and it had the street address in there. They do so that Supreme on must call it something they do different. Something different. I was it's like, happened to me before. I was like, you seriously made mm. me type that in. So I I went back type it in. Hit checkout. It started spinning like it was going to give it to me. Sold out. Damn. For, I almost punched a hole in the wall. But see, I that was the only <laughs> release I've ever been angry about, like in the last couple of years. I've only I could only see the brown pair on the, on the green pair when I got on the sneaker on the Supreme app. It was only green, no other colors, no nothing. I saw all of them, but green was the first mm-hmm. one, so I just clicked that one. And I want, that was the one I wanted. But anyway, see, so. some of these sites do that with the autofill because there's been times I've checked out on stuff and like in the address line, put my phone number. I don't know. What's my phone number doing in here? Yeah, on the and, back end, they have it named something different. But so you're probably right. Supreme probably does it on purpose because they know that's the only way to manually check out. You can't. On Supreme, there's not enough time to. Yeah. No. You just grab whatever you can. On but that things. release angered me because that happened. And then I hit check out and I'm seeing that wheel spin because normally like you hit the button and it like immediately tells you it's out of stock yeah. or you can't even get to that. I'm like, oh, it's going to check out. Nope. See, Blanc only pays resale. I know we talked about it. That's why I didn't know he didn't try though. Yeah, so but that's Bam, why I'm trust so, me. I'm selective with what I you know what I mean. Delete, like, you should listen, be. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, should yeah. be. Delete the account. If you have a second email address, start a new one and then go in there and just start clicking on all the likes and notifications. That. That's all Trust myth. me. I it's know. That's what I think that. too. I Most think not. it's myth. going there, hitting them hearts and watching all them goddamn <laughs> videos. People, uh, no, no, you don't need to watch it. You just click the thing and go. Like, I know like, what to do because I don't actually watch them. I'm sitting there with Damn, everyone on Twitter is convinced that I'm like, they yeah, call me George Hey Bear. What's that man's name? Herbert. Herbert. They were like, George Hey Bear, whatever, after I got them. Uh, ones I got two pairs of those ones that doesn't happen if you're not like in there clicking on stuff fam that stuff yeah. is myth you just hit, you just I don't it's think just so. that no. time of gold no, no, fam we've, so. I've had years on sneakers where I, I was like two I years. was like the guy yeah. I was like this now, <laughs> now I only have one account but for two years I hit absolutely nothing, nothing. and in the last this like year the last uh, about six months, six months, six, eight it. months, been acting almost like that. Almost everything. Now next year, no, we won't be able to cop a single thing. Well, <laughs> it's what we gonna find out. We got you got the hypothesis. We are gonna do an experiment. So, so wait, thought, wait, so what's gonna happen if Blanc deletes it, gets a new account, and he mm-hmm. starts hitting? What you gonna say? They're gonna say, oh, we're gonna try to treat our new customers correctly since we did everybody <laughs> thirty. They gonna give Blanc whatever he wants in new customers. <laughs> Actually, you know what I would do? I would do that tonight for the draws tomorrow on all the dunks. Mm-hmm. I want to see what a brand new fresh account. If you get any of those dunks. But you got to try them. You got to do multiple accounts, though. 
I'll like if you do that, do it on at least two. On like my phone and my iPad. So like, yes, but you have yeah. to have a phone number. So like use your girlfriend's phone yeah. number and but don't download the app on her phone. Only download it on your iPad. So like, you know, because I, I use my sister's phone number for one of them, but I don't want her getting all the alerts and shit. Right. I just don't she I don't she don't have sneakers. I just use her phone number. And then when it does the like send a text to confirm your number. It's just gonna send her one text. That's it. Mm-hmm. And I said, give me the code. I punched it in. That's it. That's what we got. That's what we fighting. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah whatever. Yeah, Y'all like the, well, you def, you're not the same size as me, and I try for you on stuff anyways. So. Oh, you right. But well, that's how I, I have get to be. Yeah. I lost on five accounts on Grinches. Now it might have been on the one account because they did the exclusive access for me, but the other four accounts were completely fresh. Else, I just sold my Grinches too. Why? Damn. You know what? So I was in my room one day, and I'm just like. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, I'm, you can't sell those. I'm sat on the edge of his bed. So, and I'm like, <laughs> damn, like I really want to put these on. This was like, like around like Christmas Eve. Yeah, December. But yeah, I'm like, damn, do I really want to put these on? So I'm like, just putting like mash and I'm like, yo, all right, this is a basketball shoe. All right, so I put it You're back in the You're wearing a basketball up tempo Pippin right now. But it's it's different though. That's like, his aesthetic like, though. Like, like some like stuff with that, like animal print on it. Like like that. It it just didn't. I, look, I don't, I'm not a cool Blanc would literally be out here like taking some pictures in like liquor stores and stuff. And that liquor store picture was fire, by the way. I told oh, them yeah. that. Whichever <laughs> one you were like, went to the glass to open the I had that thought about. Fire. I had thought about doing a liquor store and I was like, no. But I don't do I something like that. I'm an old man. You me. young. I don't do that. Now you got to get on the sneak. Dude. Hannah gotta... takes pictures of me and sends it to him. I got it. I thought about doing a liquor store and I was like, nah, I ain't trying to steal Blanc Stilo. That's his thing. <laughs> <laughs> but Kobe sixes though they are hard to wear. It's yeah, a hard thing. But damn, the Grinch is the Grinch. only one I'd force my word to Grinch. I'm not selling that ever. You're that's fine. Have that you worked now? If I like <laughs> lose a limb and have to like pay for medical bills, it's a different story. <laughs> yes, but you, you won't ever Vietnam see me too. You won't ever see me put a uh, GoFundMe up. Are uh, you wearing? Have you worn Grinches? No. Are you planning on wearing them soon? When Rona's over. <laughs> Rose will be over what next week? Yeah. Uh, CDC did release something that said if you've had two your two shots, you can be in the room no masks, which is common sense to me. But if you're had your two shots and you've had your two shots, you can be in the room no masks and also like under low other low risk people like kids and stuff because kids can't get that mm. version of Rona. Which I'm glad they finally said it. But you you got vaccine? Not yet. Oh. I'm waiting now. I'm waiting. Shout out to LeBron. George is such a hater. Huh? Not, he was so mad at LeBron. LeBron. Man, shut up. Man, we actually we got to talk about that. that. Oh, LeBron is a were... fool and a clown. Don't do that. Tell me why. <laughs> Don't do that. Tell me why. Don't do that. Tell me why. It, that's a lot of pressure on him. Like, no, 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 LeBron. LeBron. That's a lot of pressure. That's but, but wait. No, because, LeBron. Because, I know. Because. Pressure because. Because that's because of his influence, right? So, like, if he goes out there and say, hey. But he was willing to speak out on China without no care. Yeah, but. Because that has something to do with money. That's uh, That's different. No, yes, it's different. It's it's money. On TV getting the shake. Have you you seen that commercial yet? I saw it. Uh, I was shocked that, you know. But you know what the problem is with that? It wasn't what LeBron said. I'm going to give my version, by the way, after you're done. But go ahead. You might as well tell the story first about what it is yeah. first before I tell why. So, an uh, uh, NBA reporter. you were hated. Or, presumably. That's the thread like, oh, LeBron, I hate him. Yeah, I hate him. <laughs> hate his guts. I hated Don't his guts that. when he did Miami Don't do thing. That. And then when he went back to Cleveland, I started liking him again. Now I hate his guts again. Don't do that. Fam. Go. LeBron, tell Robin. So, uh, NBA reporter, presumably NBA reporter or mm-hmm. some other reporter, asked LeBron, was he going to get the vaccine? And he said, uh, well, though she made it seem like he was like stumbling around, like, oh, you know, I have a conversation with my family and uh, keep it in private. Yeah. No, man. I'm going to give my thoughts on it a second, but you go ahead. Here's the, the issue with that whole situation is she had no business asking him that. That's none of her business. I am I sick. Mean, no, 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 Athletes and stuff got to stop being mad, so much mad at the reporters because if that if you want the reporter. You don't have to be mad at her. Listen, if you want the reporter to respect you for being your job, you just got to respect them doing their job. Awesome. They might ask you. against the wall. Yeah, so you, so you, so you just, I got no comment. Right. No, no, That's cool. No, see, you're right. But that's what, not what with, I want him to say or think he should say. But if the, if you refuse to say anything, that's just say that. With a LeBron, it's a lose-lose situation. If no, he, not, if no, he refuses yeah. to say it, oh, 
oh, LeBron ain't yeah. doing it. Yeah, LeBron no, ain't saying he didn't tell you do why. nothing. He I'm ain't saying he didn't do it. And LeBron keeps it 100. Yo, I got to talk about this, man. I don't know about this yet. Let me talk about his family. Yo, look at LeBron. He ain't trying to get the vaccine. Yo, what the heck is this? So a lot of people probably... He, didn't, he can't win. A lot of people probably didn't see that tweet because it's not on Boost Knob account. It's on my other account that's for sports and whatnot. My tweet was, people need to stop. Listen, if you're uh, skeptical of... He didn't say Go he ahead. was skeptical or nothing. That's what people he who just, are said. That's what they say. Come on, man. He just didn't even talk about his family about it. Have you ever seen any of Willis, like, when Willis posts on Facebook something about the vaccine, all the people in his comments to it that are like, uh, uh, clearly have tinfoil hats on. They directly say stuff about that. He didn't. He just said, we're going to talk about it. Fam. No, no, That's no. it. We're going to talk about it. No, 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 no. No, that's not what he said. He said, well, I don't know. That's a private conversation. No, no, no. This, this, this oh, isn't, that sounds this good. isn't something, this isn't, <laughs> listen, <laughs> let me give you, let me, let me tell the listeners <laughs> that's how it sounded. <laughs> yes, it was. Oh, it did. Don't, just because you like LeBron, don't make it seem like it was okay to no, say that. I love people who take responsibility for themselves. Mm -hmm. I don't no, love no, when that's people, not the point, like though. reporters, put people on the spot. Like, that's none of your business, that's lady. her job. Yeah, we have to respect. If I respect your job, you got to respect my job. It's that simple. Then she should respect me as a human being first. Don't ask me that. No, because look, here's the thing. Here's the thing. If, here's the thing. If I ask you and you say no comment, then don't ask again in a different way. Okay. That's the bad yeah. reporter. So the good reporter will ask once, and if they get an answer, no comment, then they don't ask again. Blanc, good reporter. I don't do even know job. why I asked Blanc right now. Did he get it? Because we haven't asked anybody else who's come on this podcast as yeah, of recently. Have we got it? We, we didn't bring it up because of that. We brought yeah, it up because but of LeBron. you know what? It's a topic every single day. I never asked Mark or Laura anybody who's came on here like yo. You get the LeBron. Thing? Thing I didn't even on Andy or nobody. The LeBron thing just happened. It's different. Can I just, can I? Go can ahead. I, okay. A lot, like I said, a lot of people probably didn't see it because it was on boost. Or it was on a regular account, not boost. Not account. So my, again, be skeptical of the government, whatever you want. A lot of people grow up being told, be skeptical of police, mm -hmm. government, whatever. I totally understand it. You smiling, laughing. This is like serious <laughs> conversation. <laughs> yes, it is. Okay. It's not the same thing. Yes, it is. You're assuming. Okay. The ninety nine percent of the people who talk like that, yes, that is what it is. They're skeptical of what they're being told by the news media and the government. Mm -hmm. Why would anyone be skeptical of something if you look into the science? It is completely one hundred million percent safe. You know what? I didn't think that. I saw LeBron, a person who puts a million dollars into his body. Yeah. I probably got a double and triple check, man. If this gonna work for me? That's not what he said, though. He easily could have said that. I'm not being put on a spot like that. Just stop. Listen, this is what you say. And honestly, I don't care. I'll be 100% honest. I don't care if LeBron gets the vaccine or not. What he should have said was, this is what he should have said. I think everyone should get the vaccine. It's 100% safe if you look into the uh, science. Whoa, whoa, uh, he can't, he can't do that. He can't, he can't do that. He can't, he can't, he can't, he can't do that. Set an, set an example. <laughs> yeah, but what if you don't feel that way? What are you talking about? What if he doesn't feel that way? That's the point I'm making. It, you can't feel a way about something that's scientifically proven. That's the conversation uh, we're having. Uh, I don't care if someone feels that the vaccine is fake science. You're wrong. If you read science journals that are Printed and published by science no professionals. No one's saying it's, it's not, but he yes, doesn't have is. to take the stance that it is. He doesn't have to. That's it, when you're setting an example as someone with the following that person has. Yes, you do need to do that. That makes you a good person. I don't care whether he gets it. But the question he was should, about him, not about society. Mm -hmm. They didn't say, do the, you feel everyone should get the vaccine? They didn't ask him that. That's so, not, so, 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 so you can still answer the if, question like if that. Braun was to be like, um, well, I don't know, but I think everybody should da 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 like like they should go take it. This no, I I think he either says no. In my opinion, you either no comment or you say even if you're not planning on getting it, when you have that platform, you say everything I've read about it online, medical journals, whatever is 100% safe to get. Our family's gonna get it done over I, with. It's not no, a story if you say that. No, no, no. That's, that's what you, that's what you bring answer. to the table when you talk about it with your family. No, yeah. hey, no. Scientifically, I don't need to share with you that. And then the question is, LeBron, are you? He don't need to speak for society. Yo, everybody else no. should. I'm gonna figure it out for myself. That wouldn't have made it better. It yes, make it, it does. Better. It's a non-story if you say I've. The, the the question here is, are you being honest and real about the, the science? That's the question. If he said. We know the science works. Yes, I'm planning Maybe to get his vaccine. Wife doesn't it's want over. To take it. It's over with. Yeah. No, I, that's whatever. That's fine. So we got to talk about his family. No, you don't. That makes it. The only reason we're talking about it is because he said what he said. If he wouldn't have said that and he'd have been like, oh, yeah, it's totally safe. I'm going to get it. 
No one would it would have ended right there. She probably wouldn't even print the tweet. If he doesn't feel like it's totally safe. I understand that. And then he would be wrong because it is safe. Yeah. I think I got a problem with people telling everybody else to do it if they don't want to do it. I have a more issue no, with that. No, but he shouldn't I'm not saying he should tell people you do it, you do. It. I'm saying like I've we know it's safe. Yeah, I'm gonna get it. Even if he gets it or not. I don't care if he gets it. No, that's the private part is whether you actually do it. So you know what not this is? whether you just talk so about it. So you know it. what I would view this? I would view this as medical. Like I view this as really personal. It's not like telling everybody to go vote and then you don't go vote. Mm -hmm. Like that's like eh, that, that's voting. Like this is no <laughs> but medical you, no, no, personal. But thing. voting is I told you can't oh, prove so anything with voting so though. Now you can prove things with science. Now with us, we're under different rules for where we work. But I told all my employees do not be asking another person if they're going to get the vaccine. They're not reporters. Or if they've got it. I know that. But it's just none of their business because how that person reacts they're not could reporters. dictate how others will that, react. That's fine. That this true. reporter. That's not what I'm talking about, though. Okay, you know what? Then I view that reporter it's as just, acting just maybe in ethically or in she's morally just it's medical doing her job yeah, debatable. no the job is to ask questions but i view that as an inappropriate question i do nah. not in business she went for the headshot like she wanted to she know that yeah, yeah, that, yeah, yeah, what, yeah. Are you, what are you asking that for that might be headshot. possible but she's doing her job You're right but Le still. when lebron spoke on china guess what he's trying to keep his image up and get paid by nike when she did that she's trying to get her image up and get paid by whoever it's Girl, the same thing i'm not saying okay well I'm not, sa thing. I'm not saying her reasoning is bad that's her decision again the reporters i decision. dislike is when you say something Ugh. and then they try to like rephrase the question to get you answered again like sean miller down in arizona arizona finally got their allegations thing every time people for the last two years been like sean miller can you speak on allegations no the next very next reporter or the same reporter will frame the exact same question in a different manner those are the reporters i dislike because if you ask something when you're doing your job and they no comment it or whatever You've you've done your job. You ask one time. You ask again. Then you're a nuisance, okay. and it's stuff that you don't deserve to know. Fair. That's different. You're right, but nobody deserves to know what I'm gonna do medically with myself. You you're right, but you don't need to set an example. LeBron does. No, he doesn't. I'm about to say does. Yes. He doesn't owe anybody anything. It's not about owing. This again. This is not about selling shoes or whatever. This is about medical like societal health we need to promote truth in society about medicine i'm not disagreeing with you but i don't know how he feels about it like how he, he feels is irrelevant that's my point no it, it, you it, can't that, go that, against truth no it's not an opinion it's a fact that's the difference you think it's okay because that's his opinion no it's not okay to be wrong about something like that it's not that's the point i'm making you can't be like Oh yeah, the, the the vaccine. I'm not taking it because it's it's it makes uh, tree grow out of your head. That's fake. That's fake. That's fake. Now, like I said, if you want to be skeptical about the gut, like listen, LeBron has been on like LeBron has been on a tear about um, uh, human rights with regards to police officers and and um, interactions. Right. That right there, if he's willing to do that. That's it's the same thing. No, it's not. That's different. No, it's not. No, it's not at Way all. Way different. No, it's no, it's not. It's he's talking about things that will help public health, public safety. It's not different whatsoever. I have the option to go get the vaccine. I don't have the option if the police going to beat me up. That's not the, the point I'm making. <laughs> they, they make that decision. That's way that's, different. That's not the point I'm making. He's fighting against, I can't walk down the street because a, a police may say, today I'm going to beat him up. Now, today I get to choose if I want the vaccine that's or not. That's not the point I'm making. It's maybe not the point, but it's... No, it's, it's not. Ah. LeBron was irresponsible, period. No, yes, he was. don't do that. Uh, yes, he was. That's my very point. He was irresponsible. You can't be irresponsible if you're talking about yourself. Yes, you can if you're dealing in something that has fact and fiction. Again, this is not an opinion thing. This is a fact versus fiction thing. It's like, is the is water wet? If LeBron believed water wasn't wet, would you side with him still? <laughs> like, we know he's wrong. If, we don't know if he's disagreeing with it, though. Yeah, we that don't too. know that. That's why I don't know what he, he feels just, about he it. He just didn't he, come out and say he that just, him and his family. To me, I took it, it as, I'm not telling you, me and my family are going to talk about it. Yeah. That's why I took it. That's the version of and, no comment. And, and so, no, it's not. That's the version where it's like, yeah, I don't know if I'm taking the thing we know is 100% safe, so I'm going to go over here and... No, nah, nah, I'm not here that. for it. <laughs> that is basically what he said. Look, I know you don't really hate LeBron and stuff like that. It was you irresponsible. Can't, you can't be losing your mind like that. It was irresponsible. Like that about it's like, no, no, you I would do the same damn, thing to any celebrity. Your mind. I would do he the same thing. He put in the text. He put in the text. He said... 
I hate LeBron. I was like, God damn. He said, look at my Twitter. I looked at Twitter. I was like, God dang. I would do the same thing to any other person who had the same reach he does. And the difference is he has reached to a lot of like inner city youth that like Brad Pitt saying that. Brad Pitt is just reaching like nerd no. white kids. Who he cares? No, he has a responsibility to his family yeah. and people. Like it's a discussion for them. It doesn't mean it's false. When it other doesn't... people see that, how are they going to take it? Again, it's not a story if, if he didn't say it, that. They might say, yo, I need to go home and talk to grandma about nah, it. Nah, fam. <laughs> no, no. People saw that and they're like, oh, he's skeptical. It's okay for me to be skeptical. <laughs> That's completely different. Again. Yeah, everybody's skeptical. I was a little skeptical. Skeptical about what? I was a little skeptical. Now, I get vaccines all the time. Skeptical about what? I mean, is shoot. it safe? I mean, look, I needed at least a good 100,000 people, to, a thousand people to get it first. All right. well, now, we, I see, I see some people. We couldn't get it before a thousand people got it. The first study was 40,000 people. Like, at that point, and it's 99.9% effective. What see, do you want? I don't, I don't, I don't, see, test studies like that, I don't put 100% everything into it because you have to be on the point when it comes to stuff like this with variables. Not saying that they aren't because I don't that's know what they what, do. But that's like, what public but like, medical papers like, are there I'm, for. I'm talking about myself, me personally. I'm thinking to myself, did they test it on a black male slightly overweight? Yes. Short at five, yes. about five, five. Uh, the whole point about a, a blind, uh, a random that's, blind. That's what I think. Listen, the whole point that's about a random double blind trial is they don't know who anyone who's getting it. I need to know like details. Of, right, no, because then there's bias. You know, no. family. <laughs> No, that's then there's I, bias. No, no, no. I'm not saying. I know. I agree. But I'm just saying that's what I think. I'd be like, God dang, like something new out of the blue. Did you try it on a short African American okay. male? Who <laughs> if they pick forty in extreme listen, heat? If it's forty, extreme, if it's 40, right? listen, that matters to me. If that's what my Jaguar was no, trash. If Jaguar it's forty thousand. Listen, if it's forty thousand random people, it's not going to be all white people who are twenty seven years old. It's just not. That's not how it works. Well, they say the jury is randomly selected. Man, in my yes. trial. Uh, well, the lawyers yeah, get to kick out the ones they don't want. That's not how a double blind <laughs> random trial works in medicine. <laughs> the jurors, the, the lawyers don't get to sit there and be like, you want number six? Nah, get them out of here. Uh, <laughs> kind of? No, no. In, no, in law, they do. Oh, okay. In medicine, they don't. That's what I'm saying, the difference. Oh, they might. No, they don't. They might say like, he looks like he can't take it. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. LeBron was irresponsible. That's the bottom line. Like, do they try to homeless people? I need a homeless man to come through. He ain't been medically Fan. tested for nothing. Yeah. All right. You can go read about it online. Anybody got anything me. else? And and so could a LeBron, and he could have said, you know what? I think it's totally safe. And then he could have ended it like that. That's it. He doesn't need to say, like, go get it. He could have been like, the quicker we can get back to normal civilization, the better. And done. It would have been no story. None. But because he was like, eh, I don't know if I'm getting it. I'm uh, going to go talk to my wife. Why then it's a big that? story. Don't do that to LeBron. Dude. He opens schools. <laughs> okay, well, schools ain't going to stay open. With, they're not going to have no kids if Corona's here for 50 years. <sighs> they can't get it. You just said they don't get that strain. They are. Yeah, but the teacher can die from it. So, All right. Am I got anything else? Blind um... Respectfully unapologetic, man. Respectfully unapologetic podcast right now, only on Spotify for only some on reason. Spotify for some reason. Fam, get the music out of it's there, the man. Get it on the like iTunes. I like the music. Fam, I like the music. Man. Shout out my uh, while I'm here. Shout out my boy Tez, Hodden, and Eric. They all on there, you know. They on Instagram and stuff. They on Instagram. Oh, okay. What's the Instagram for the podcast? Who runs that? Respectfully unapologetic. Yeah. Who runs um, it? Everybody. Oh, okay. We all got a piece <laughs> See, of that. See, I would like everybody to, but he refuses to. Oh, no? So, no. Hey, no. <coughs> but you got to be careful with that. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. you just hire someone to do it for us. Okay. We don't make money, so <laughs> to, to the negative. Shout out to Blog. Appreciate you coming through, man. You're always welcome, man. man. I'm, see, I'm glad Blog hit me up. Like, yo, come, I come through? Cool, cool, cool. Yeah. You live in Arizona? You come through. Now we got people coming on next week from wherever they live, Canada, Boston, whatever. Talk about hats and sneakers <laughs> and stuff like that. Boston. All right, I got nothing else. George, anything? Nope. That's the sneak test. There we go. Respectfully unapologetic.